Hello and welcome to Anarchs of New York. And we have a very different numbering nomenclature. I, I believe this is <laughs> just, just there's things have happened. Things have happened. We just things have happened. But here we are now, uh, for what I believe is episode five. Uh, because uh, we, we didn't count episode zero, which has been a point of some contention. Although I guess it was numbered zero. So really, I'm well, the jerk here. My numbers are apparently the, the issue with me and you, I guess. Digits below Look, 10 again, cause problems. That's why we use symbol dice. Symbol <laughs> dice. We don't need none of that newfangled number in. Isn't uh, all of New York a grid system <laughs> based on numbers? <laughs> true. That's why I live in Indiana, Todd. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm well, safe. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you for joining us again uh, for episode five. Is a world without pain possible? Then don't no. ask the impossible. Uh, let us meet our vampires. Now, again, on my screen, my layout might be slightly different than uh, what you've got on yours. Uh, so I'm going to call you out in the order in which I see you. Uh, let's start with the emerald haired wonder who is much, much better at diceomancy than counting, uh, Diana. Hey, uh, I'm Diana. I'm here with Level Up Dice. Uh, I will be playing Esther the Bruja tonight. That me. And Mr. Mason Dula, the Dapper Dan. Hey, yeah, my name is Mason Dula. Uh, I'm the Dungeon Master over at Wizard X TV. We do Dungeons and & Dragons and Call of Cthulhu and all sorts of other fun stuff. Um, I'm playing Eli Decker uh, here tonight. He's just a sweet boy. Just a, just a sweet boy. Yes. Uh, Emily. Hi, I am Emily. I'm the corporate manager for Level Up Dice. I am playing Cherry, the Toreador vampire, and uh, I am not the only half dressed member of the party at present. Hey, got to make a party out of it, indeed. Uh, Justice. I'm Justice Hughes, and I'm uh, the experience manager at Level Up Dice. In tonight, I'm playing. Uh, Dmitry Volkov Borosovich, the uh, gangrel who hails from Mother Russia. I feel like it's because some violence happened that Dmitry's whiskers have risen, uh, because they were they were down before, but like now they're up. Like I just wanted to be fancy. <laughs> like, I have detected exactly. You've detected <laughs> murder. Yep. Uh, May. Hello there, I am Lele Damage, uh, and I will be playing the wonderful Asombra, Avedon. And last, but certainly not least, a newly fresh-faced best boy, yeah. uh, Todd. It's horrifying, <laughs> I apologize. Uh, I am Todd Kenrick, I am the creative manager over at D&D Beyond, so if you see something that maybe feels creative, I managed it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, that's, I think that's about it. You can find me uh, anywhere you can see my name. Uh, I can verify that is a fair assessment about your contribution. Google me, you're gonna hunt me down. <laughs> that is that is true. That you you have managed some attempts at creativity that I that that, that I I myself have uh, maybe failed to uh, help you realize your vision. But I but I showed up and I said words. No, yeah. never, never. You've never no. failed actually at that. Uh, other companies have. <laughs> Did you like to actually thrown in there? Actually, you've never failed at that. Like, he seems surprised, like, pleasantly. Go, go you know, I had to think about it. I'm like, wow, has B-Day <laughs> failed me? The night's not over. Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, he does sometimes think he's a tank when he's not. <laughs> I mean, so. girl, same. Like, I mean, we're, we're just like squishy boys that just like rotate jumping in front of the monster. To like, ow, like, oh, it keeps biting me. Stop it, please. Oh, that's my favorite band, Squishy Boys. <laughs> the best part about the internet, I'm sh well, I was about to say if we Google it, we'd find it, but we might find something very different than a band if we. Yeah, were I don't know. Let's not do that. Maybe not... don't. Maybe don't, kids. Yeah. No. Or, bing or it. do. Turn on safe search. Zone of safety. I'm not. I'm not here to kink shame. Turn on but, zone uh, of safety. Turn on yes. zone of safety. I'm very sorry that I spoke. Uh, continue vampire. Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> this is all part of the process. See, here's what uh, they've yet to realize internet that i do these things and have these cheerful conversations to get them all feeling lighthearted and lower their guard so that i can ease yeah, more easily and aggravated yeah. feels damage speaking of aggravated feels damage last week uh the newly turned ghoul seth smithson uh ghoul of nosferatu hugo told you 
that he knew that the second inquisition was on the way to miss cherry thorns home they knew who she was they knew who where she lived and they were going there now you all departed the pillow party uh, mm -hmm. with Gigolo's blessing. He helped you get out through one of his uh, side doors and also gave you the, the necessary knowledge to come back, especially you, Hugo, as a cousin. Uh, definitely, you knew the side side door to get back uh, to visit Gigolo if you wished, but the rest of you um, had his gratitude. Again, he gave you a list of locations that he owns uh, that he thought might be hit in the future. He didn't know which one might be a, a target for whoever has been uh, attacking these locations. Again, it might seem like this was weeks ago, but it was literally earlier tonight that you all were informed that uh, someone had been responsible for an escalating number of break-ins that went to smash and grabs and had started turning into murders um, in the area. Uh, again, it, you had a couple of clues that you'd gathered, but again, the violence is definitely escalating. Gigolo gave you this list of locations. He also gave you a disposable cell phone that would allow you to call a Nosferatu by the name of Napalm that operates out of Central Park. Uh, Napalm is in the employ of one of his primary rivals, Memphis, uh, which he said it may be possible that Memphis is behind this, but at least up until now, they sort of had an understanding. You kind of operate over there. I kind of operate over here. Maybe there's uh, the occasional skirmish kind of along the turf lines, but for the most part, there had been sort of an uneasy piece. So while Gigolo definitely said it's possible it's Memphis, he just didn't think it was him based on everything that had been taking place. Again, you were told um, that there was people on the way to Cherry's house, so you all departed immediately to leave, not before a certain Bruja realized that some of her homies had in fact shown up at the pillow party if i recall correctly none of the rest of you noticed uh but esther knew esther knew your crew crashed the party before uh an anomalously nice vehicle summoned by uh eli to carry you all to to where you were going uh on the way there seth said something that upset hugo that resulted in his abrupt death um via neck cracking um, also, uh, Avedon showed a surprising, not just capability, but comfort with high speed body dumps uh, as she slung his body out the window into the river uh, as you all were speeding to your location. Uh, you arrived uh, at the Thorn home at 79th and Central Park um, and quickly realized that the doorman was not the doorman. He had been replaced. Cherry quickly noticed that. Also, across the street, the doorman on the other building had been replaced with two new people. Um, in the process of investigating this, Avedon sort of peeled off, and the door to inside the elevator up to the Thorn penthouse opened, and there was a woman inside with a gun at the back of Cherry's young sister, Apple. Uh, as you all got up to the top, you found there was a, a man there, a federal agent by the name of Jeremiah, who had a tactical squad with him that had your mother in custody, Cherry, uh, Miss uh, Demetria Thorne. Um, and he said that you could help uh, avoid having charges pressed upon your father, Winston Thorne, that we're going to send him to prison for the rest of his life. Uh, across the street, Avedon found that there was a, a woman that was helping run things across the street who had all of the markings of either an Inquisition agent or perhaps a hunter in her own right by the name of Artemis. Uh, she was very much not afraid of Avedon and in fact seemed to be actively looking forward to getting into an altercation with her and was not completely um, outmatched as they fought in the elevator. In fact, she did manage to inflict not insignificant wounds on Avedon, but was ultimately defeated, was both blinded and consequently embraced herself. In the midst of the chaos, uh, Dimitri realized he heard an increasing beeping noise coming from in somewhere inside of the penthouse, and you all fled back to the elevator that Mason, um, Eli and um, Dimitri shot out the elevator cables to make it drop faster. And as you all were plummeting down the elevator shaft, an explosion came rumbling from overhead as you all now find yourself with the emergency brake in the elevator set with the six of you 
the newly embraced Artemis, your mother Demetria, and Apple. And if I do recall, you all brought Jeremiah as well. Um, Esther had landed a particularly vicious blow that seems to have broken something inside of him, <laughs> both mentally and emotionally, and definitely physically, um, that has left him uh, somewhat inert as you all left. And you all now find yourself in the elevator and you hear the loud clanging of a fire alarm bells ringing and eh, 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 eh. well this is cozy we should probably make our way out of this elevator i'm gonna try and just pry the doors open see what floor we're on hugo when last we met hugo had made the extreme uh, mm. choice of physically dislocating nearly every bone in his body to be able to reach out and corral around Apple and physically protect her. And at this moment, she is somewhat in a corner with Hugo looming over her protectively as he said he would, Cherry. And you, Cherry, are still there with no top on and a prominent bullet wound um inside of still going through and through with you uh you'd healed some of it but again to even the casual uh a casual observer you are very much shot and you see your mother's eyes are also looking at you like dinner plates having witnessed everything that she's witnessed so apple is somewhat huddled up but has very much made the connection that hugo's trying to help and kind of like i mean if there's a bomb over my head. Maybe this isn't so bad. And your mom is more just like. <laughs> is she uncomfortable with the Viking vampiric skin blanket that is me right now? <laughs> the discomfort is is a is a valid is a valid word uh, to use. Again, Apple is making no effort whatsoever to get away. She heard Cherry say protect her, and she heard you say nothing will happen to her. Um, your mom. Hey, Cherry, you know her well. She's she might be starting to like check out a little bit. Uh, yeah. I just <clears throat> look at her reacting the way she is, and I say, "What? Everyone's seen them, thanks to Paris." Uh, honey, I think your tits are the least shocking thing I've seen tonight. <laughs> well, I guess your night is coming a little close to rivaling mine then um honey can i ask you a strange question sure have i like oh deed um is this just like hell you see like she is like reaches a hand in her robe because she was just sort of wearing like you know lay about home wear she sort of like had just, like some yoga pants on like a tank top and like a silk robe and she does pull out uh one of her bottles of her medicine cherry and very much started like fumbling to get it open i swat the bottle out of her hand and i'm like that that depends mom how many of these have you had tonight god damn it cherry come on look look at this look at that guy his back is broken and look at her her eyes are gouged out and that woman had tentacles of uh, and she very much just start like hands and foot like crawling across the elevator like through you guys legs trying to get to the bottle that cherry knocked out of her hand hey wait don't take that bottle who's you the should... worst person you've ever met <laughs> besides my daughter uh i don't know me do i look as ugly as you feel Again, now that you all are getting this close of a look at her, and again, it's the increasing insanity is happening uh, around here with the bells and alarms, and you hear commotion uh, mounting up as, as people are trying to force open the elevator doors. She is, again, it's almost like she's Cherry's duplicate. Like if Cherry were 22 years older, uh, but I mean, she's, she's definitely had work done to very, very clearly approximate her daughter. Um, I just, um, 
I'm a little stressed out right now, okay? And I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus, I'm trying to remember my mantra, but my fucking house got blown up and there is some sort of Viking monster apparently trying to save my child, I guess. And my other daughter's shot, but fine. I just, Jesus. Well, then you should be happy. Your children much... are fine. Yeah, I'm sure with all the dealings your husband has had, you're not going to have trouble finding a new home. You should be happy your family is safe. <sighs> safe remains to be seen, okay? Uh, Dimitri, give me your wits and awareness. Weirdly. Oof. That is two successes. So the roof of the elevator is still very much open. You'd knocked it open before firing your weapon uh, along with Eli. You, as you forced the elevator door open as well, you realize you think you're probably between the 25th and 24th floor. Uh, again, the penthouse was up on the 30th floor. And as you all can look up and see, there's smoke filling up the the top of the elevator shaft you don't necessarily see flames um but you know there definitely was an explosion uh that went off up there uh abaddon would like to uh go out through the roof um and uh at least get up to the top of the elevator to get a better clearer view of what's going on uh, again, it is, it's is—it's effortless, especially when it's already open, to jump up, to claw your way out with the arms of Armand. You've got many options. I'm certainly as you, well. As you basically, like, tense a little bit to jump, you feel a hand grab your ankle. And Artemis turns up and looks at you through her, with her ruined eyes. And she's like, I said, what did you do to me? I gave you a gift. You're welcome. Now, I have to make sure that we're not all going to burn to death. Please stay here. You see, she doesn't let go, but when you soaring leap, you basically shoot out of her hand and she like fumbles around a little bit. And you all hear... <coughs> <coughs> and Jeremiah in the corner coughs and looks at his hand and there's blood all over it. And he just goes, <coughs> well, shit. <coughs> Can I pat him down? That wasn't how I saw this going. Mm. Um, uh, give me. Well, he's kind of in no in no state to really like resist you too much. Um, you find uh, there is uh, a. He does have a trifold fbi badge his name is uh, federal agent jeremiah ezekiel okay um you find his sidearm uh, which is a, a nine millimeter it does not s seem to have any kind of special bullets and you watched him shoot cherry um yeah. so it, it does seem to be a firearm uh besides that there's nothing he had the heavily armed and armored uh tactical soldiers with him uh, but he himself is not even wearing not even wearing a vest. He's 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 wearing a shirt tie, uh, like he very clearly looks like a G man. Okay, as I'm kind of patting him, so how were you uh how are you gonna survive that fall? Ooh. <sighs> can't reveal all my tricks just yet. I might still need that one before this is over. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna be making it that long if you don't uh, loosen those lips a bit. Oh, God, she hits hard. And he looks at you, Esther, and he's like, it's so little. What was that, some pressure point shit? Ow. That's sort of my thing. Uh, wait a minute. Don't loose lips like sink ships or something. Dick, exactly. Loose lips yeah, sink ships. We want his no, 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 no. I'll loosen your lips. And then you'll tell us everything you know. When you say that, Hugo, Apple actually kind of like reaches up and like grabs a, a bit of the cloth as you sort of had, had pulled it open to reveal the tattoos. She sort of like holds on for a second. She goes, no, 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 Hugo, Hugo, just, let's just, can we just, can we just get out of here? Okay, Apple. Wait, I just, and she turns and looks at you, Cherry, and she goes, Cherry, I, I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but, uh, 
I, I, I was, when I thought they were going to hurt you, I was really scared. All right. And, um, I'm, uh, and she very much looks at your mom who has made it to the bottle now. She sort of found it on the floor. She's yet to get it open, but she has located it. Yeah. Um, I grab my mom by the shoulder when I see her like frantically picking pills up off the elevator floor, shove her full body against the side of the elevator. And then I take my finger, stick it into the bullet wound so that it's got some of my blood on it, put it under her left eye and trace a line down her cheek. And I say, mom, if you want to hang, you need to fucking get on our level. And then I release her and I like lean down and start like patting Apple, like to assure her things are gonna be okay. Was it your intention to ghoul your mother or simply freak her out? Just freak her out. Uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> she very much stands there kind of like unmoving and Apple just sort of looks at it. She goes like, that is super fucking metal, Cherry. What? I mean, Upstairs, as you, Dimitri, are sort of looking around out through the broken door and Avedon is up on the roof, um, you can start to hear down at the bottom that, like in the lobby, that the elevator doors are being forced open. Uh, you both deeply suspect that the fact that the emergency brake was tripped has triggered some sort of response. We must get out of here now. This family reunion is very touching and all but I do not want to kill more people tonight. Do you care for this woman, Cherry? Who, my mom? Yes. Well, I don't actively want her to die. That is, yes, Does that, that is what I needed to know. That, I'm going to... She just goes, holy grab... shit, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said about me. <laughs> Cherry's mom, it's probably half floor, right? I'm gonna grab yeah. Cherry's mom and huck her out into the hallway. Um, and then grab Broken Back and pull him up, and then I'm going to climb out into the, the hallway. When you pick him up, he very much looks at you, like, very close, and he's like, oh, you're the wolf. I heard stories about you. Makes sense that you're one of those. You'll keep your mouth shut if you want to keep talking tonight, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. You see, like, he very much is like, kind of like to the side like with his elbow pull back like again you Esther you broke ribs maybe broke vertebrae like he's very much like ah, yeah 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 uh Avedon you were gonna say something uh yeah while I'm up on the roof I would like to like in combo if I can use my potence of my arms of Aramon to grab a hold of the cords of the elevator and kind of move us just a little bit to, like pull on the 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 cord so that I can get us a little bit more level with the floor so we can get out. I, I like it. Give me your strength and your potence and your oblivion to see how successful you are with this. Uh, all of you notice that up somewhere in the smoke, flashlights are starting to shine around in the smoke. In the elevator shaft or on the hallway? Yeah, in, yeah, in the uh, up in the elevator shaft, up in the in the direction of uh, where the penthouse would have been. It's impossible to say because it's dark and the smoke is billowing down. But somewhere up there, lights are starting to shine around. Okay, so the one the penthouse we just came from, not just yes. In the, okay, okay. Right, that direction again. The smoke is coming because you, you all fell about uh, about five floors um, before the break uh, reengaged. Okay, I'm gonna then I'm gonna position myself on top while everybody else gets themselves out, just so I can keep an eye out if they try to pull anything. And I'll grab Dubuddy's other pistol and I'll uh, kind of movie style dual wield, use my reflexes if, if anything happens, I guess. All right, Avedon. Uh, seven, no crit. You all, while you're sort of trying to figure out what to do and you're like, mom, get on our level. And she's just sort of like standing there. You guys see Avedon kind of holds her hands up in like the very darkness sort of like wraps around her arms and the cords and like, you feel the elevator like and lines up with the door that uh, Dimitri had forced open. You all could exit the Once elevator. Yep. I uh, <laughs> I pop my shoulders back into place. 
<laughs> because this isn't the first time I just <laughs> and I pick up Apple with my arms and she I just, start walking out the elevator. She just sort of stands up and she goes, I think you're the coolest person I've ever met in my life, Hugo. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know, I'm dead, so that makes sense. You got to tell me about these statues. Is, is that a tattoo? Is that a long boat? Like, what is the... Yeah, the boat's very long. We didn't call them that, though. Could I Could I just sort of elbow Cherry on the way out and go, I think they're getting along really well. Who would have thought? It's really kind of cute. Uh, Ab Abaddon's going to jump back in and grab uh, Artemis and also uh, walk out, but still holding on to her. You you realize when you reach for her, she sort of like pulls away from you and like slashes wildly with her knife, which like, you know, misses you completely. And then she stops and she sort of like rubs her eyes for a second, like the ruin of them. And when she pulls her hand away, you see the jet black pools of oblivion are there. And she's like, what is this? Like I said, I have given you a gift. You took something from you. Now I've given it back to you. You're very welcome. And better. This is much better. When we get out of here, and she whips the knife around, she's like, you and I will finish this. Ah, yeah. Um... Oh, honey, try not to be so cliche. The whole fire issue thing really overplayed. Is I also wanted to still be on the elevator, just from behind, because I assume they're right in front of me. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, like, I mean, point, it's point elevated to a hallway, the, yeah. The back mm -hmm. of her head, like, do you, do you want me to just did Avadon to see if, <laughs> see if I should just go ahead and take care of it now? Uh, uh, take take care of what? Do you want him to shoot her, Artemis? I'm just trying. Oh. To, yeah, I'm just trying to motion. I don't want to <laughs> say anything because she can't yeah. see me yet. But right. <laughs> mm. uh, Abaddon will look, and she'll kind of be like, she shake her head slightly um, and subtly, uh, not to. Although you can see in her eyes, she is still considering it a viable option. <laughs> She just puts the knife away and she's like, okay. This... Okay. Ooh, can I do something really creepy? <laughs> I mean, I felt it was implied, yes. Mm -hmm. I just I just stick my my face. I, I just start I get closer and closer to him. Well, it's her, right? Yeah, it's Artemis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artemis. I Oh, don't worry. You're not gonna live that long. The rot's already set in. You have maybe three years. Oh, wow, that's bad. I can smell it, too. At best. Yeah. That's it's not going in the way you think. You're not gonna be the hero. You're gonna be alone. In a hospital bed with no one who loves you. You notice when you say that, tears start going down Cherry's mother's face. She just sort of puts her hand over her mouth. And you need tears start streaking downwards. And she kind of like runs out of the elevator into the hallway. By now, you all hear fire alarms are on. Um, is you kind of come out and come around the corner, like people are pouring out of their homes. Like people are, a couple of people come out and like a pot bellied man wearing a, a silk robe that is very ill fitting uh, and a young woman that is probably 40 years his junior are sort of standing in the hallway. And he's like, God damn fire drills waking me up in the middle of the night. I'd like to grab him by the robe and just give him a clock to the head just to really stun him and then pull his robe off and throw it at Cherry. <laughs> yeah, it's not boom, ah, boom. And the, <laughs> and the woman just kind of like stands there with a, like her jaw down and 
let's see. She just look. She when she watches you do it, and she goes, "Oh my God, Stevie! Wait, are you Cherry? Like you live up in the penthouse and never got to meet you before. Wait, is it? Who are your friends? Like she's very much standing next to this dude, like unconscious. Like she was like, oh no, oh ho." The no, only thing I find person. more triggering than a hillbilly accent is the accent you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she's an All impersonator. Right. There's something bad going on. Uh, she gets it a lot. Let's go. <laughs> so I try to like muscle past her if we can. Uh, fine. Um, I take the robe and like put it on real tight, like rip off the bottom so it's like short and cinch it real tight around the waist and try to make it as cute as possible she does just sort of like stand there and as you guys get running by she goes wait is this not just a drill is something really wrong he said the real go back to your house uh, nope just a drill go back in mm. she oh okay and she leans down and she just starts slapping the dude on the side of the face she's like wake up wake up uh, and she just like goes back into the into the house like very much leaving him like crumbled against the door in the hall you know it's times like this that i don't feel bad about eating them Abaddon looks at all of you and goes, you do know they're all going to burn to death, right? You're relevant. Wait, we're supposed to feel bad about all of this? Uh, um, well, um, uh, oh, and Avedon will reach over and she'll elbow out one of the fire alarms and just pull it and be like, all right, now let's run. Oh, no, the fire alarms are going on. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, no, it, like everything the building can do to be like, you're about to die, it <laughs> they, is doing. They, they yep. like haven't deactivated it for like the fact that they've arrived or anything yet. Mm -mm. Uh, then Abaddon will start pounding on doors with the arms of Aramon. And um, is Stygian Shroud centered around me or a location? You personally. Ah, shit. Um... She's gonna tell everyone to uh, to to run ahead, and uh, she's gonna bang on all the doors, and she's gonna try and make herself look like actual smoke in the hallway to make the humans think that it is on fire because it is, and hopefully they will also run. Uh, as you knock, a few of them don't answer. A few of them are ajar. You can see a few people did flee when you know the the smoke alarm went off. I mean, by now it's about three in the morning, maybe three thirty. Um, but you know, the odd person does kind of come out and look around. And again, even the faintest hint of oblivion is terrible for a mortal. And ah, oh, ah, oh, you know, hold on, come on, we gotta go. And so you do see um, uh, six more people do come pouring out of like assorted uh, apartments and trying uh, to find I'm their way out. I'm going to try to corral them with Stygian. Not like I'm not gonna get them in it, but I'm gonna like <laughs> try and like. Yeah, 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 yeah. horror movie style running from the Stygian shroud. Wow. Down into the I, I'm so upset by that concept. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do drive them to a stairwell, and those of you that are moving, you all get to a, a fire escape too and start pouring your way into it. When Cherry, you feel Apple grabs you by the arm. What? Say, like, don't leave me. We're We're all going. No, 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 no. You know what the fuck I mean. We're going to get downstairs and you're going to just like jump into an SUV or something and get sped away by your people or your manager or your publicist or who the fuck ever. It like always happens and you're going to leave me. You're not leaving me out Apple, of this. Apple, you cannot come with me. It's not safe for you. It's not safe for you. I want this. I want this. You want what exactly? This? What you, you're fucking bulletproof. Look at you. Like you're, you're incredible. You're still like gorgeous even though you're shot. What the... Who are these people? Why is she so strong? Who are these hot dudes? Who's this super fucking hot inky woman? Like I, this, whatever this is you've got, whatever you're into, I want this. Remember, I had my own record deal too, okay? I was gonna get the movies too. Oh, then you burned all of that to the ground before I could have any of it, Cherry. Give me this. You can't have everything I have, Apple. That's just the way the world works. And the more you want this, the more you think about this, the more unhappy you will be. So just go back to your life with mom and dad and forget about tonight. Just forget about it. Yeah, the same life you couldn't wait to get away from. Yeah, fine. 
and she does like push past you down into the stairwell. Wait, do you go to like um, a place that teaches you things? I mean, I have like tutors that come to the house, but yeah. I mean, I'm not stupid, Hugo. What's your worst day? Uh, besides today is yesterday. Okay, imagine having to be stuck in yesterday for the rest of your life and nothing ever changes again for you. That's what this is for me. I will never have my best day again. Be what you are. Don't be us. Be thankful. I'm not bulletproof. Not really. Not where it matters. She looks at you with all the defiance that only a spoiled, misguided 14-year-old could look at you with. <laughs> Says, I would take your worst day, Hugo. You're like a god. I'm just... Food. The knockoff. Apple, uh... I'm not gonna claim to know your past, but do you guys believe in, uh... Like an afterlife? I mean, I guess. And you all are moving, it, you, by yeah, the way. Just, you know, you're not just, like, standing there like Bob yeah, Saget comes out and sits down. You're like, let's have a talk. We pull out a podium. Yeah. It's a good time day. for intervention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... She's like, yeah, I mean, I guess, I, I think. Well, then you don't want any of this. Could, could I? Look, I'm doing, I'm doing all I can to atone for what I've done, but uh, just trust me, you don't want any of this. Yes, uh, Esther. Could I go ahead and um, I'm, I'm going to use my dread gaze and just Ooh. bite my wrist so that I'm bleeding? And say, hey, if this is what you want, do it or shut up about it. I of course, defense. she as a mortal is completely defenseless against yeah. the dread gaze. So when you do this, I mean, she very much like scrambles backwards and like grabs onto you, Hugo. And she's like, okay, 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 okay. All okay, right, let's okay. go. And I try, re I'm like I'm changing the conversation. And this tattoo I got when I invaded Wessex. <laughs> I don't know what, what Wessex is, but I invaded it. It was fun. <laughs> you guys are, who has um, Jeremiah, by the way? Because he can't really walk under his own. I'm okay. Dragging yeah. him. I'm yeah. looking at his folder. He. Walking. Oh, yes, you did take the folder. Um, it, give me. Um, intelligence and investigation and you can add three dice could i also like like pay somehow to have a background check just so i can pull up any file any information i can find on based on his name uh yeah once you get at, at not at this exact second at sure, three sure, in the morning sure. in a towering I, inferno yeah, but theoretically absolutely, yeah. yeah i don't mean right now yeah sorry <laughs> two two um it's tough um Esther, because a lot of it is like legalese and briefs and things in like very small mm. print. Uh, but what you can tell is it is evidence against her dad, Winston Thorne. Um, it is, it is, um, you can tell it's like racketeering stuff. Like a lot of it is like white collar crime and just being like adjacent to things. Like um, he was responsible for loans that were generated that went on to set up like major drug operations and things like that. Uh, like he has been like a party to things didn't necessarily do them themselves and most of it's not violent either but it's things like you know uh, embezzlement um, uh, money laundering uh, things like that like he's a, like he is a cog in a criminal wheel basically he said you don't understand all of it but it's it's not insignificant amount of like flipping like there's a so lot of dates in like bank like account numbers bad, but like not us bad he's like right greed bad yeah He's he's greed bad. He is not like personally like done murder himself bad, but like help facilitate people Caddy that have done things to bad. Murder. murder adjacent. Exactly. He is murder adjacent. Yes. He has an excellent view <laughs> of murder. Yes. 
uh, do you share any of the info in that folder with anyone else? Um, not right now. I'll keep it to myself for right mm -hmm. now. Uh, all of you give me your wits and awareness is you uh, are descending the staircase. Because again, you all were like the 25th floor. Like You're a ways up. That was almost a bestial fail. Wasn't. Yes. Going no to use my level up dice. That we're going oh, to hey, to hello. <laughs> Makers of fine luxury gaming equipment. Uh, level two. Best fail. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is what is the the really bad six or good success, depending on how you look at it? Uh, a messy crit is a ten on your blood die and on one other die. So two blood dice or one blood die and one regular. I got how many that. blood die do we use? Depends on how hungry you are. Each point of hunger you've got is a blood. You replace one of your black dice with a hunger die as your hunger increases. Mm -hmm. So that would be nine successes, and it was a messy critical then for me. Uh, same. same. Ooh, you guys. Crap. <laughs> same a, nine with a messy? I had a messy crit. A total and then, of no, four crits. <laughs> uh, I got all successes and a Nostratu face. I... What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> High fives, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you, you guys are all experts. No, Esther is still very much like thumbing through this no. folder here while the rest of you are like, your eyes are lighting up like the freaking Thundercats. Like, <laughs> you know. um, uh, how many did Avedon get? Four. You guys, uh, was that messy crit for you or no messy crit for you, Dimitri? Messy. You guys see Eli and Dimitri. Um, I will let you tell me how it manifests for you, Dimitri, but you guys are like, you're running, 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 and both of them sort of like look over the edge of the stairwell and kind of look at each other, and you see Eli just like vaults over the staircase, like over the side, like down to the next level, and then like hop over to the next level too, and listen again. Uh, you hear radios, radios and boots of like, <laughs> pouring into the staircase further down. You went three levels ahead of them, uh, Eli, again, yeah. as you are like heard it and the beast was like, we need to get closer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys watch him do this. Uh, Dimitri, you also react similarly, except you are holding on to the agent. So you tell me what Dimitri does. Again, a best you'll fail. You do the thing you set out to do. The beast just does it in an involuntarily um, enthusiastic way uh -huh. and the goal here is to figure out what we hear yep oh man she jumps all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> superhero landing this is land yeah. on him that's, that's <laughs> where i was uh, considering but we're what i mean it, it's a valid life strategy i'm not here to right tell you now. how to live your own life I would say you guys had made it to about the 20th floor when you started, because you guys are coming down and they're coming up. But you're sure they haven't heard you yet. And I just saw um, e Eli jump down five flights. Three? Three. But he sort of like bounced like, you know, to that wall. to the, He kind of Jackie chan it over a little bit and then like kind of <laughs> caught in his listening again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Um... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to... Oof. I'm going to toss him off. Um, think flying carpet, kind of, just to slow me a little bit. So I'm going to toss him and jump. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spring off of him to get a little bit of a umph around five floors down. He's, he's done. He's gone, I think. But, uh... <laughs> so guy. you, again... You see Eli just you off the side, and then uh, Ezekiel sort of like, well, that was improved. Oh! <laughs> Dimitri very much throws him over the side too, and you watch him like, <laughs> both of them like rocketing downward, and uh, you definitely catch along the way that these don't seem like uh, firemen that are coming up, Dimitri. Uh, you also are aware of this, um, Eli. Okay. They don't seem like uh, firemen. Uh, they look like SWAT. Is it possible uh, for me although to they are wearing reflexes? They grab, are wearing gas masks. Grab, grab this before he plummets to the ground. I will give you one shot at it with <laughs> De with Dex and athletics. <laughs> okay, okay. To see if you can uh, if you can get his knee hit knee before. Well, for the rule of cool, I will say it is it is after Dimitri posts <laughs> off of him, but before he splits on the concrete. That's what I was gonna yes. ask. I don't know how low mm -hmm. he's planning to to post mm -hmm. off. Of him. <laughs> 
it's uh, you know what it's gonna work because how can that not work we'll yes. see body surfing <laughs> takes on just like a whole new meaning now uh that is true I, literally i got let's see and so it only counts as two if there's two crits right right okay then or it I got counts as four if there's two oh, well, sorry yes uh three successes then three uh i will say you do get his foot but he will boom pancakes on the side of it he does have like he ooh, like he very much grunts um as dimitri you do uh land uh, at the base of the elevator at the base of the stairwell now um give me uh dex and athletics to see how cool like how cool and silently you do it like uh <laughs> Do, is it the full superhero landing that like craters the uh, concrete under it, or are you like a cat? Let's I have, find out. I have, I'm not great at athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Again, girl, same. That is that is a success on my hunger die and it's two a, success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two you successes, but one is on a hunger die. Uh, I you do it, but I mean you very much like boom, and you hear like voices up ahead, like <laughs> the hell was that? Uh, the rest of you did not notice this, but you did see the two of them just like leap into superhero action while you're still up at the <laughs> coming down the staircase. So just for visual, Eli's at like 17, everybody else is around 20, and the SWAT is somewhere between me and them. Yep. Yep. And you've got a you've got a fairly clear view of the lobby, but you also can see from here there are flashing blue and red lights outside. Like there is a nine one one response uh, that is taking place that you clearly can see through the lobby from the staircase. And there's the SWAT team between uh, uh, you and your friends. Can I lift him back up, like just flip him around real quick? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you've got about five seconds before I let you fall the rest of the way. Tell me what we need to do to get them to back off fucking surrender <coughs> three two i'm just gonna keep counting down okay I just, wait 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 let me talk to him let me talk to him let me talk to him hey okay if if i say something shady you can throw me over the side right all right do do does he still have one of the radios on him at this point? Uh, I think someone said they took it from him. I think it was I recall. Dimitri, I think. Yeah, I yeah. think Dimitri <laughs> said he took it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I <laughs> think wait, wait, do I hear him say that? Like, if you, if he says something <laughs> shady? Uh, give me wits and awareness. He's a little he's a little ahead of you, but it's an echoey staircase. Let's see. Okay, if yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe. I would say the rest of you very much saw him catch him and now sort of like, mm -hmm, and he's like, <laughs> uh, one, two, three successes uh yeah i'll say you heard him say if i if i say something shady you can you can throw me over the side i just very I say very loud oh no 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 no! it wouldn't be that fast it wouldn't be that fast at all if you say something shady apple uh just sort of looks at you and she just goes so The whole he's just, there. <laughs> yeah, he's like, look, look, okay. Let me, <laughs> let, let me do it. Let me do it, okay. What is Abaddon doing during all this? Uh, she's got her eyes peeled, uh, looking for another way out. If there's a side exit or uh, window out of an office or anything that we can like, kind of shove everybody through or anything like that, so we don't have to go face first into a horde of police. Uh, you know, you could break out into any of the the floors. There's doors to each individual floor as you're going past. Um, you also know some of those people went a different direction, so there may be some. There may be another staircase. I mean, again, this is a huge building. There's got to be other staircases. Uh, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna go looking for that. And she's gonna um, make eyes at everybody and be like, "No, go look over there." Uh, can I take out my Nosferatu, which I I, I kind of expect is a flip phone? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I take my yellowish nail and I kind of poke it, open up the clamshell. I I just press one. Is oh, my the, contacts. The, the, the phone that Gigolo gave you or a phone that you already own? Gigolo. Okay. Yeah, buddy, I didn't think you were going to call so quick. Yeah, no. 
Wait. How long ago was that? Okay, never mind. So we are on, what floor are we on right now? I, all of you. All of 20th, you on, 20th floor. 20th floor. Uh, do you guys like have uh, harpoons or like ropes that shoot out into the air or like a bridge or magic that could get off this, get us off that floor? Oh, we ain't like the fucking Neverland pirates from Peter Pan, buddy. But I mean, if you can get down to the basement, to the substructure, we can get you out of there, sure. We can get okay. you out of anywhere. And Peter Pan's a very good novel. Most people haven't read it, though. Yeah, he no, Jay like and Barry was a decent guy, yeah. It's all and... about him killing pirates, though. It's very inappropriate for children. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh... Are you at 79th in Central Park? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. That That is not one of the establishments that I gave you on the list, Hugo. I don't, I mean, hey, it's your business. Yeah, if you can get down to the basement, we'll get you out of there. I'm not good with numbers, okay? That's... Yeah. We'll get to the base, the basement, the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you'll take us to the top. Uh, yeah, buddy. Whatever you want, sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, everyone, we go to the basement, and then they're gonna take us away. Who's they? Um, the person who's on this phone right now. The I already forgot who I was talking to. I don't. Am I? Am I on speakerphone? I don't. Okay. Yeah. Um. He hello. Oh, he God. Hello. <laughs> Wait. Oh, hey, Jerry. Hey. All right. Yeah. Sure. Of course. We'll do what we can. Yeah. You can make sure you bring that like cute little darkhead number back with you too. No, I'm just joking. I'm just fucking with you. Respect. Respect. Yeah. See you in the basement. Bye. And the line goes dead. Could I, um... This is a very inappropriate, tiny piece of device. Avedon is still... I told you I'd get you a better one. ...gesturing to this other... Yes, door. Esther. Avedon is still gesturing to this other doorway, right? Yeah, presumably she's going through it. Yeah, it's not locked or anything. It's just, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at her, just wink real quick, uh, and then sort of... I, I would like to, um hop backwards over the railing and sort of parkour my way down to join Dimitri so he's not down there alone. Uh, give me your dex and athletics. As, she, as I see her doing this, I'm going to throw the guy just kind of back into the wall a little roughly. Oh, here you go. You know what to do if he does anything shady. And I'm going to also try and hop my way down. He's like, well, I mean, am I, am I saying something? Or are you just, uh, okay, no, just do it your way. <laughs> Wait, do I sort of... kill him if he says something? Because he just did. <laughs> you see, I'm, gone. I'm gonna leave that uh, to Hugo's <laughs> imagination. Cher Cherry's mom looks at like when you open the door, Avedon. She very much like files in behind you, and she's like, "Cherry, come on, let's go." What is this guy's name? What is this? Wait, wait, who who am I hanging on to uh, right now? Is he uh, it was Jeremiah Ezekiel. Jeremiah. He's okay. the agent. Yeah, it is. It's is both. It's agent Jeremiah Ezekiel. What? Oh, what's in, what's in the room? <laughs> uh, it's, you're back. You're basically back in another hallway, like the same way you came out of a hallway down in here, because you know, like each floor is kind of the same. You know how there was like uh, homes, town, um, condos. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just you're just on a, on a different floor. And just to be clear, when we like look down the stairwell before I went out that door, it's just like nothing but like police down there that we can hear. By now, you're kind of putting it together, yeah. That uh, the, the, there, there is a a, a um, armed response heading your direction. Yes. Uh, when we get into that hallway, I would like to go uh, towards, oh, like, check the windows and see which one leads to like a back alley of some sort with maybe a possible fire escape, uh, and and look to see if there's like an open side of the building that doesn't seem to have like police cars and stuff around it like possible alley we can jump down into uh do you say this out loud or are you just looking 
Uh, I say this um, not to any of the, uh, not to any of the new kids, but whoever's still close enough by me that's um, our our little family. Well, uh, I, 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 I say this because, you know, Cherry and her mother and her sister live here, so they would know that, but they wouldn't know it unless you tell them that's what, what you're looking for. Uh, essentially, I would like try and say it out of earshot of uh, Artemis or, or any of the other agents that were Got there. It. But yeah, the Got family it. would be fine. Well, then, Cherry, I would say she definitely she tells you that this is this is what you're after. And yeah, you know where there's um, again, the building is a, a very prominent, very beautiful building. But I mean, there is one side of it that you think uh, there might not. At least it would be out of the view of the street. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's I mean, for, you know, caterers and everything like there's that back entrance it's not the freight entrance but it's not the front entrance and it's it, yeah we can go there is there a fire escape over there by the by the window by the stairs can we get down on the back side there is a there is an external fire escape yeah yeah uh, like I they, think... I, the building commission tried to oppose it but like legally we had to have it so yeah i mean they are dreadfully ugly yes um but uh, safety nonetheless um i think if we get everybody down through here um, I heard something. Did I hear something about a rendezvous in the basement? The creepy guy from the club, the, you know, the gross, whatever his name was, he wants us to meet him in the basement where he's going to help us escape, but I personally don't think we should take his help. Uh, well, oh, I mean, we can get out of here at least, I hope. I mean, if we get through the back alley, uh, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. Um, uh, uh, we'll, I'm sure there's even a sewer or something down there if we have to. It's uh, street level. But um, yeah, uh, I, I think we should do that. Uh, you guys ready to climb? You see your mom very visibly, visibly is like, oh, yes. Mom? And I like smack her across the face say mom you're gonna wake up you're gonna climb down this fire escape you're gonna call the driver and you're gonna take apple and go to the hamptons and get the fuck out of here okay no she is not i am not going to the fucking hamptons i told you that you were gonna do this cherry i told you that you were gonna try and leave hey, me hey 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 what? if you two don't stop i'm gonna yeet your ass to the hamptons get down the damn fire escape please and I'm gonna wait for uh, most of them to get down there and I'm gonna pull Cherry aside and I'm gonna tell her, I don't know if I trust our rendezvous either. So when we get down there, let's keep an eye on the basement and make sure our friends are okay. And if they're not, we'll go through the windows and get them out of there. Works for me. Uh, it is yeah, Hugo. Hugo, yeah, Hugo, it's you Hugo. were there with them. Yeah, well, actually I take that back, Hugo, you tell me. Uh, Hugo would have actually been a few steps ahead because again, Eli went over the side and literally caught him as he was falling to his death. So he's actually a couple of, of steps down, but you can see him, but they would be leaving to go out through the, uh, through another door on this floor. So is Hugo going to go with them to get the family to safety or try and recover Eli? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, I was told Ezekiel. Am I near Ezekiel? Ezekiel. Jer uh, Agent Jeremiah Ezekiel. This is my near Agent Jeremiah Ezekiel. Oh, you can be if you want to be. Basically, you would need to go down to him. He's not moving. He kind of can't. He's beat to hell. But so <laughs> you could go down. Oh, to yeah. Him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I want to at least walk over him and I, I want to ask him a question. Um, Wait, did you, did you help us? Did you call them off? He didn't ask me to. Am I supposed to? He just jumped over the railing like a goddamn superhero. Wait, but um, what are you doing right now here on the floor? What do you need me to do, Heemdale, or whatever the fuck you are? I'm confused. Did you help us? What do you want me to do, man? Oh. I'm confused. Would you like me to try and call them off? Um, I thought you were supposed to do that, weren't you? Aren't you supposed to try to get them to leave us alone? He's like, just hold on a second. And he gets ready to... Meanwhile, Dimitri, you on the floor. <laughs> Before any of the others arrive. Again, you have a clear view of the lobby if you were to flee, or you could go up and uh, catch these guys uh, from behind. Um, oh, Dimitri. 
she has this sense of duty. Um, well, so I can't tell anything else that's going on. The only thing I know right now is that there's SWAT going up towards them, and they're between me and my group, right? Uh, and, you, and you're clear there's definitely like a full 911 response outside. Like you see flashing blue and red lights. Like, I mean, emergency response vehicles are outside okay. the building. Like the whole lobby is kind of like a glow with the you know, strobe lights of various emergency vehicles. But otherwise appears to be... Without empty. knowing anything about the, the basement rendezvous or um, the, the other party yeeting... Yeah, that part you are not but, aware of. Uh, I'm still going to have in my head that I need to get to the basement or to the service elevator. Either of those, because I know they exist. But first, I'm going to sneak up. I'm, I'm going up behind SWAT. I'm trying to get up behind them. Mm -hmm. uh, give me your dex and stealth to see if you can close in on them before they realize it. Um, okay, I have a question. Yes, you go. A situational question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I've been trying to make sure I'm near Apple at all times, but I'm also talking to this dude. Mm -hmm. I am duty bound to protect Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I need to go to the basement. You, yeah, you heard like you would have heard Apple like yelling at Cherry. That is like I told you that you were gonna try and I'm not going to the fucking Hamptons. Like you, you, you would have heard that that, that whole exchange. Yeah. So I'm near Ezekiel. I, mm -hmm. I hope I'm close to Apple at the same time. Is that true? You can see her. Same thing. He was kind of dense because remember Eli jumped off the side and went down a few floors, and then he, yeah. uh, Ezekiel got thrown off the side. So how he's many floors do we have? Uh, I would say you guys were still coming down until you stopped. So I'd say you're two floors apart. But I mean, you can see her. I mean, uh, to the basement. Oh, you don't know. You're by now. You're about the seventeenth, sixteenth, seventeenth floor. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Apple. Um, do you like do you like uh, carnival rides? Yeah. Okay. Uh, get out my back. She very much is like, yeah, all right, but she's she's within reach of both Avadon and Cherry. Uh, yeah. If if either of you like attempt to stop her, because otherwise she's like, yeah, all right, fuck the Hamptons. Yeah. Hugo, I mean, like, what she, are you doing? I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm just gonna get her away from the danger right away. And uh, Ezekiel, is that your name? Uh, I'm yeah. Sorry. Hey, Bible name. Um. You, you want to help save people, right? Yeah, that's my job. That's your old job. Like, this girl is mortal and you want to save her. Yeah, I want this kid to be fine. Yeah. You want to be a hero. I want to do my job. Protect and serve. Yeah. You are going to. And I grab him and I jump off the stairwell and I'm using him as a flesh parachute. I am using him to squish and... Soften the flow, the, the the impact of cherry on top of my back, with my Apple own body, back, right? and I am squishing into him when we fall seventeen floors. How? Uh, so what was that stealth there, uh, Dimitri? By the way, four, four for four. Yeah. No, you. They're making a ton of noise going up. You know, they're. Cool, 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 cool you know and they're breathing heavy through their gas mass and everything and their views are obstructed you they have no idea that uh I, as you're as you're getting closer there's 10 of them dimitri you can sort of like get a head count as they kind of like round the curve up there you know they're coming up with their guns tucked i mean they're right. is anybody familiar pack. with um the world war ii medal of honor winner sergeant york a little history lesson here <laughs> he took out a whole line of germans by taking them from the back first that's yeah. that's the goal one at a time <laughs> just working my way no anxiety that day <laughs> uh let's see here hang on uh strength and brawl is what you need yes uh i rolled for literally all of them to see if they notice hold on here i'm still gonna need you to roll because if nothing else you might best you'll fail but this was their chance to realize what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah, that's some, yeah. that's 
that's not so great. Yeah, their their, their minds are el- their minds this are elsewhere. Swap. Right, the world of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> They're like hup, 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 hup. yeah, like when you knew, when you see no symbols, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> yeah, generally negative. Generally negative. Yes, uh, Eli. Uh, actually, I think Esther had gone over next. Uh, Esther, you what? What was your athletics when you were just trying I had to see two if you could? Successes on the way down. Uh, again, you uh, get. Well, did you want to go all the way to the bottom, or are you trying to kind of get? I want to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, you also come down, but uh, you are slightly. Uh, actually, no, you're exactly uh, as gracious. But again, with their terrible, with their terrible perception, I will see if they don't notice you. Like, and you see Dimitri creeping up and like. <laughs> what does Esther do? As you see, he's kind of disassembling. Well, these we're guys. in the lobby, and I can see him sneaking up to, you know, commit some mass murder. So, um, I will, I want to try and take a peek of what the scene is out front, um, mm-hmm. and and see if I can do that without being noticed. Give me your wits and awareness, uh, Eli. You also were were coming down, so I guess give me your athletics to see uh, how effective you were. Just athletics. Oh, uh, deck. I mean, uh, decks and athletics. Yes. Okay. Plus three. That feels a little better. <laughs> three. Mm-hmm. Uh, you peek out, and again, uh, there are police and fire trucks. Um, you see a large SWAT van. You see several news trucks, uh, and you also see like a helicopter, uh, surveying the area nearby. And across the street, there is a large crowd of uh, of onlookers. And there is a TV on in the base uh, in the lobby as you're coming through, and the news is airing saying a terrorist attack at 79th and Central Park, and there is footage of the building with the top of it is completely in flames. Cool, cool. Um, could you remind me? Because I I really want an excuse to use this, but the time has to be right. Remind me how Spark of Rage works. So Spark of Rage, um, hang on just one second here. Um, like, would I be able to direct that at the group of onlookers across the street? Oh. Uh, well, you know what? Let me let me double check it oh because this is not. First of all, first of all, I like where this is headed. Um, I actually do believe you can affect a group of mortals. Let me just make Maybe. sure. It's it is season it is, finale Westworld season two. Uh, it is not. Um, I would say spoiler alert, but the statute of limitations is up. That was like a year ago. You should watch um, it. It was great. Well, that wasn't great, but it was <laughs> nice. I love the show. Uh, you can, in fact, incite a crowd to violence. Um, let me see here yes season three is amazing yes uh yeah you absolutely can use it to in in <laughs> incite a crowd to violence like to do that. uh esther uh mortals again are defenseless against yeah. kindred powers so is you just sort of like focus your attention across the street at them you see two dudes are kind of like eh, craning their neck and one of them sort of like get off me man get off of me what's wrong what's wrong with you <laughs> and then you just see like chaos starts to erupt across the street and you see like one of the cameramen turns around and starts filming that and gets kicked in his face and like uh, the cops stop what they're doing and rush over and like uh, all hell is breaking loose out front so much so, you even see on the newscast, which is live, the camera pans away from the burning building to this, like, brawl breaking out on the other side of the street hey. there. Looks like the coast may, in yeah. fact, be clear. Uh, Eli, how many successes was that for you? I only got two. Same thing. Was your intention to go all the way to the bottom or try and stop midway uh, midway down? Uh, I mean, I'd probably take it a little more gracefully because if there's both of them down there, I don't... Well, like it, Dimitri has moved out of the way, and uh, okay. Esther would have moved out of the way also. So, like, you you don't feel like you're going to like land on their heads or anything. Oh well, then yeah, sure. That's Hugo's job. Go all the way down. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, you also see Esther sort of looking outside with this satisfied grin on her face and Dimitri sort of like <laughs> working his way through these SWAT guys who still are somehow woefully not clear that this is happening. Okay, but I do land. So they're just, mm -hmm. I see him taking them out from, from the one side. Mm -hmm. Have they noticed the rage induced fight breaking out across? Okay. No, they're in the stairwell. They have no idea. Yep. Then do I see an entrance that looks like it might go to, I don't know, a basement anywhere? Uh, give me your wits and awareness. Um, and uh, and I know this is two things at once, but I, mm -hmm. I guess I just want to generally look and also mm -hmm. see if it looks like there's any more people who don't look like they're with the SWAT team that might be armed or looking for us. Okay. No, that's, that's still the, the same wits and awareness. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, no problem. Uh, it's not weird. This is, yeah, I'm good at those things. That's good. Mm -hmm. Not good at rolling them. Uh, so I can, so if I rouse and fail, I just gain a hunger. Yeah, the if you yes you the your stats increase no matter what. You just get hungrier. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, so I get to roll two two according to the chart. Yeah. yeah. Well, did your rouse pass or fail? Oh, let me do that. Okay. Come Again, with the rouse on. checks, the thing always happens. It's just you might get hungry uh, as well. I success. Okay. So yep. That so is no, that you, good or bad in this case? That is good. Your hunger okay. does not increase. The stead, the attribute increases like you wanted, but your hunger does not. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. Then, uh, well, that's still only four. <laughs> uh, as you are looking, uh, you see that there is a map of the building, and you see there is a door behind the concierge desk that you think would probably uh, be one of the ways you could access the basement. Again, this is a multi-million dollar building, so it is not like, you know, just the janky, like, here's the door to the basement, <laughs> right, you know, like yeah. you think it's through there. Um, I'm going to go... Uh, if is it past where Dimitri is killing dudes or is it uh Dimitri is killing people in the stairwell you would have to exit the stairwell and go out into the <laughs> lobby yeah uh I'm, I guess I'll just kind of keep a lookout and go check the lobby really quick I want to map it out make sure that wherever we decide to go that it's going to be clear all right Esther you definitely see him sort of like scooching past you kind of like cautiously looking around um, I'm, I'm in the lobby I'm gonna sort of giggle to myself and we we can just go out the front door now it's fine don't worry about it Meanwhile, upstairs, uh, Avedon and Cherry, you all are standing there uh, with her mother and Artemis uh, at the top, who does not know where you're going, is just sort of like grudgingly following along, and have just seen Hugo grab Cherry and uh, Ezekiel and hop over the side. Grab Apple and Ezekiel. I'm still here, yeah. Oh, yes, sorry, so, grab Apple and yeah, Ezekiel. Yeah, just making sure. I know, I made it confusing for everyone. Too many fruit babies. <laughs> By naming her Apple. No, it could be worse. On Long Beach by Night, I have a player named Alquin and another player chose a character named Alquis because F me, I guess. Yeah, so mm -hmm. believe me, I, I, I have suffered worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I, how far down are we down this uh, down these stairs? And again, who is near me? Who's left? Uh, up there is uh, Cherry, Cherry's mom, Artemis, and you. Is the others Apple, have uh, on my back right now. Um, I just said it again. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, no, Apple is on your back. You have jumped. Like Hugo is, we will resolve momentarily uh, what when, Starship Hugo does. When, uh, Starship Hugo. When I see Hugo go over the side, um, I'm going to look at Cherry and I'm going to be like, can you um, jump or float or do anything like that uh, over the. Uh, Cherry thinks about it for a minute. Um, no. I can walk down the stairs, but that's about it. I mean, no one offered to oh, that's let not, me that's ride no... them down the stairs, so... It's... Well, hey, baby, hey. <laughs> and I will give her a nice big shadow hug. Uh, not, not to hurt her, but I will grab her, and I will grab uh, her mom and Artemis in the other hands, and I'll be like, uh, was there one more still? Uh, no, that should be everyone. Okay, and uh, and I'm gonna soaring leap over the the side as well. Cherry, she very much pulls you in close, and then eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same thing. Give me your decks and athletics. Uh, remove 
three dice because you're carrying three people, but add your potence. So I don't know what the total of that is. So dex, athletics, potence, minus three. I'm going to need to eat somebody soon. I mean, <laughs> you're in a target-rich environment. Speaking of needing to eat somebody, Hugo. Give me your dex and athletics as well. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Can't wait. <laughs> Welcome to my dumpster fire. <laughs> no negative repercussions. Three. Uh, okay. You will be able to land effectively, but by no means gracefully, uh, Avedon. But I mean, very much like, <laughs> but, uh, I stand up and I go, I meant to do that. <laughs> but we have to see what Hugo has jumped ahead of you. So let's see uh, what happens with that before um, uh, you I got two successes. <laughs> two successes. All right. As you are plummeting with downward Ezekiel. Uh, with Ezekiel um, underneath you as you are falling and you see the SWAT people and Apple is holding on to your back you actually hear her laughing uh, on the way down as you are falling through the um, elevator shaft and right before you are going to hit the ground Ezekiel vanishes and <gasps> You no, 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 that's not fair. I had yep. a thing I was going to say to him. You <laughs> hit the ground and take four superficial damage that breaks both of your legs. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. But <laughs> I was going uh, to ha- ask him what, what, what happens when something blocks the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll get a chance to ask him later. <laughs> and he's going to say shadow, and I was like, that was shady enough. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Then you're gonna you buy stole a, that moment from me. <laughs> it's where it is. This is a story telling game of personal horror. Yes, uh, I felt like me being knee deep in Ezekiel was personal <laughs> horror enough. <laughs> uh, you land with like a hard thud, and Apple lands on your back. Uh, her. I will take all is- anything I can take for damage. I will take it. Her bell is rung a little, but I mean, she she survives very much. Uh, Esther and Eli, you very much witnessed this. Eli, you see him disappear. You do too, Esther. He's there, and you're falling, 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 and then he's just gone. And Hugo hits That's the ground. That's a neat trick. Uh, oh, with man. This fo- <laughs> These floors here are a lot harder. You okay? Uh, yeah, don't breathe. Never mind. <laughs> was that some uh, Nosferatu shit? Why? Where the fuck did he just go? And then, boom! Avedon lands as oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> sort of right over Hugo, like just sort of like you know, leg spread type, like bang. Just gotta do the thing. Gotta do the thing. I do. I do. N- n- I curl my twisted yellow fingernails. I curl them into my own wrist, even cutting my own wrist with my fingernails, and I just terrorist fist bump <laughs> Avedon. <laughs> Nux. Yeah. I'm saying that uh, ironically, by the way. Yes, for yeah. our NSA overlords. We mean yeah. in, a pu- in a purely fictitious <laughs> manner. Yeah. No, for uh, our NSA overlords, I'm not saying ironically. <laughs> I'm All like, right. and it's like the internet goes out. Awesome. Yeah, well, awesome. good run, guys. <laughs> um, well, that's Dimitri. a good live stream, everybody. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we're done playing forever. Uh, this guy apparently t- liked Obama. Yeah. Let's yeah. Thanks. Down. Thanks for tuning in to every stream we ever did because this was the last one. Um, so, <laughs> Dimitri, um, as you were going through, one of them finally having witnessed this, like uh, both Evadon and Hugo, and I literally, I legit have been rolling for them. <laughs> They've been rolling so terribly that they're just like the baby ducks on the lake. Is they just keep dropping, you know? <laughs> None of so them I would, notice. I would just, before uh, you resolve this, I want you to know that I rolled a bestial yes. success for a total of four successes on my brawl and um, um, whatever it was, strength. So uh, again, take it away. Again. To the last man. To the last man. <laughs> Good lord. He got Wait, are your dice cursed? I, you know, it just depends. I mean, you know, the fate, fate wanted Dimitri to have this moment. You know, let the wolf earn his reputation. Mm. I will say, Dimitri, 
having just disassembled these guys with quiet lethality all the way up, like leaving a breadcrumb trail of carnage, the last dude whips around and looks right at you. What do you do to him? <laughs> I grab him by the right by his vest, um, pick him completely bodily off the ground, and SWAT dudes are not small. Uh, and I'm going to bite into his neck, um, feeding a little bit, but in the process, ripping throat and ripping across here so a rain of blood just shatters across everybody that's in the stairwell right now. And Wait. you land like, boom, Avedon, standing over Hugo, Nux, <laughs> blood. Well, this won't be nearly as inconspicuous now. Yeah. Shall we? I, I have a small ask. Ezekiel, so how did he disappear? <laughs> how did he disappear? <laughs> did he turn you know, to mist? Like, you describe to me how it, Ezekiel cool. uh, he faded literally away. vanished. He was there, and then he wasn't. And then he wasn't? Mm -hmm. Was no, it gradual? No was no it flash, instantaneous? No, no flash of light, no mist. Like, he was in your hand, and then he just wasn't there. I want to think, for me as Todd and uh, Hugo, um, that I broke off my index nail into his neck before he, di before he disappeared. Just so he remembers me. He has a yellow, gross, nasty, curly nail stuck in his neck. I, I feel like he is not going to forget any of you. And uh, believe it or not, that is probably a great place to take a little break. <laughs> So we can, we can yeah. do a break. So we'll, we'll, you like we'll breaks with body horror? Literally. We're talking <laughs> about breaks. breaks. Speaking of breaks, speaking of breaks, let's uh, have one. I uh, like your legs, Hugo. Wow. Uh, so uh, we will come back. Well, I'll give you like a little make bit like of... Hugo's legs and break. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we'll give a slightly deluxe break. Slightly deluxe. So we'll come back at 40 minutes cool. after. So 40 Whoa. after. We're all in different places, so I'm not going to attempt to do that math, but we'll come back then. Okay. All right? We'll see you in a minute. Thank you. Hey, Internet. Uh, I was just asking, do do we have a sub-goal or anything, Diana? Because we, we did do. mention that. I mean, obviously, we would like all, all the subs, them. but I don't know if we've expressed a We sub haven't goal. talked about our goal yet tonight. So, as usual, uh, we're, we're aiming for 50 subs. If we do that, we'll do a giveaway for some Vampire the Masquerade dice over in chat. Uh, there will be three winners for that. So um, last week we kind of we kind of broke the system and we ended up pulling seven winners because we got so many subs in one session. But uh, we're we're aiming for fifty, a nice modest goal. But yeah. So mm. here, here's the thing, uh, people of the interwebs, we're all friends. And if you're here and you watched this far and you sat through the break and you've watched all these episodes and you love these magnificently beautiful people because we have arranged an anomalously beautiful cast here and you have yet to sub, maybe do, maybe do, uh, because you will increase the likelihood that you will be blessed by more Level Up Dice. And I, uh, having been blessed by Level Up Dice, I can tell you conclusively, the only thing better than Level Up Dice is getting more Doesn't Level suck. Dice. So, yeah, toss up. Uh, I'd like to chime in. If you don't sub right now, um, I'll kill H Hugo. Yeah. I'll he kill won't. him right now. He won't. If we hit 50 so subs, you. Hugo is safe. No, that's on you. <laughs> that's true. We need, we, we we need so we it's stop. extortion racket now. Uh, it's kidnapping. Ruthlessness I'll, is I'll, supposed to be the Lissandra I'll pull his teeth out. I'll pull his teeth out first, by the way. It will not be a slow death. So, so uh, level up dice. Need some Personal subs. Horror indeed. 50 subs. Hey, Hugo. So Hugo can survive is apparently where we are now. <laughs> and uh, now I can do nothing no darker than that, but you all find yourself at the bottom of this uh, elevator shaft. Again, freshly sprayed with blood uh, is uh, Dimitri comes back Hashtag down. Hashtag save Hugo. Hashtag save Hugo for the low, low price of 50 wow. subs, apparently. You know? I'll, also, also, I think we're going to know something important, Todd, if we get to the end and then there was like six subs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, uh, like, I, I need to scale my shit hell. back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. sub, 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 no, sub, sub. I mean, it's <laughs> happening. We're, we're proving a point here. <laughs> it's true. It's true. 
it's a maybe maybe we're terrible again a storytelling game of personal horror so all so save the best nos also maybe win some dice eh? all marketing has a dark side and i have a dark side can verify can verify i appreciate everyone that works for the company is deeply dismayed and the two of us are like yeah, yeah i don't right, know sure. how i feel right now <laughs> <laughs> Again, mission accomplished for Vampire the Masquerade. <laughs> like it was necessary, but I feel I'm not sure. I feel like I lost something. Yeah, yeah, we're right on par for the game. So. Also, Hugo's saving Apple right now. So, yeah, Ooh. if if Hugo dies, Apple dies, and don't think about know. how Cherry will feel about that. You Ooh. don't want to kill a 14 year old character named Apple, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Should we go? So you all know. My my beloved my beloved game Battlelords. There was an ad campaign that they did in the '90s that was called the Baby Seal ad campaign because this was right when like baby like don't kill baby seals for fur coats was like really uh, in vogue, and it was a picture of this like it's a real thing we had to worry seal. about by the way. But oh, yeah. back then. No, that happened, kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in like life. Yeah, the yeah, real, that was a thing. Um, Please don't kill baby seals for fur coats. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was this adorable little baby seal and behind it is all these space mercenaries with like guns and sticks and it was like buy bad lords or we'll club this I'll, baby I'll seal I'll go ahead and <laughs> change up the overlay for next week just so that we have um, some better visuals <laughs> I've hope, hope that was that was an odd follow up to the baby seal. No, no, no. I, I feel like we I'm should like, incorporate oh, we that into, that into what we're doing here. Oh, yeah, we'll all get in front right, of green let's, screens. Let's get some fan art of uh, Save Hugo. Hugo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Save Hugo. Some Sarah Sub to the channel, music or we playing. will club. <laughs> Just and it's we're like the wrong way at the camera. Long uncomfortably yeah. long it's like three and a half minutes of, three uh, hours we'll just skip the episode story. and play nothing but that that's it that's <laughs> it it's done done all right so down there uh eli you have discovered that you believe there is basement access uh via the concierge desk uh esther has created a, a wonderful distraction uh as there is a just full-blown riot taking place outside now again the police still being mortals are equally effective just a brawl of uh of dozens and dozens of people is taking place outside right now I would cherry like think yes hmm? i was midway through all right well if you've like seeing that seeing that she's caused this like i was midway through like okay let's go out the front door when the blood finally just <laughs> like just stopping mid-sentence <laughs> or maybe don't yep uh cherry you and your mother were uh, rescued by avidon who uh jumped down uh quite effectively managing not to squish your sister in the process so the using a, a combination of strength and agility that came at the cost of a little bit of grace but you got it done avidon uh getting everyone down to the bottom uh dimitri feeling very satisfied and for anyone who watched was ruthlessly efficient in his dispatching of these, you know, highly trained um, uh, agents coming into the place. And Hugo is struggling to pick himself up off the ground. And Apple is also like trying to help you up. Like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, are you are you okay? Are you are you good? Oh, Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, no, but you know, I mean, that's a big question. As I slowly like pop my kneecaps back into the place. <laughs> I mean, like sometimes I get lonely. You go, I can't help in the darkness. There was an agent beneath you, but he is now <laughs> no longer. Where? Yeah, where, where did, did he the go? agent go? Yeah, he he yeah he, uh, he didn't even do anything. He just disappeared. Like he was never there. Done. Can your eyes do? Can can they? Can he? Is he here somewhere? Oh, I don't feel anything, do I? Hugo, I mean, you do you felt... feel something underneath you right now? Nope, you hit pure concrete. <laughs> yeah, now you felt his body in your hands, and then it was not there. It was there, and then it just wasn't. I was holding him like a, like a memory, and then he wasn't there anymore. Right. Well, Jedi aren't real too, right? Like, the, where the what? fuck did he go? 
Can, can he, Abaddon, you got the black eyes thing. Can you see him with? Is he? Is he like a ghost? Uh, um, I'll, I'll check. Um, uh, the the way the eyes work, it's um, no, we see essentially the oblivion plane. So sometimes it's ghosts. Um, uh, uh, it might, maybe. I'll try. I'll try. Um, maybe but he's a ghost. but before I do that. Uh, and I reach down and grab Artemis by the front of her shirt and pull her close to me. And I go, what did he do, Artemis? Where did he go? You see her like bear her new fangs at you, but then it's like something in her like clicks. And she's like looking at you. She's like, I don't know how you made me feel allegiance to you. And she like puts her hand on yours and you actually feel Artemis, like her grip strength beginning to increase having inherited your strength, but it relaxes for a second. She's like, What happened? I didn't see it. Uh, 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 Hugo, you said he was just vanished from out from below you? Yeah, I was like, um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, but I like this whole thing I was gonna say, and then he disappeared before I could say it. And that kind of bummed me out. It was something really cool. It's she, gonna be really, really, really cold. She I mean, looks cool. At, I mean, chill. Right, yeah, when she looks at you for a second, you see the oblivion fill in all through her eyes again, over the ruin of her eyes, and she looks around. Avedon, you—it's quite clear to you, understanding this. She's figuring out how to turn it on and off, mm -hmm. and uh, so it turns and looks right at you, and she says. We all have different gifts that allow us to do different things. Being uniquely difficult to kill was his. Being uniquely good at killing was mine. <clears throat> I can see I made the right choice then. Um... But how does him being hard to kill make him vanish? Apparently that was necessary for him to live. No, you don't understand. It's, it is incredibly difficult to kill him. Remember he was going to jump out of a 30-foot window fearlessly? I mean, we weren't really trying before, per se. We just... You, and she points at you, Esther. She's like, you were faster than he expected. I mean, yes. <laughs> it's it sort of my thing. It, it was impressive. That's why he didn't have a chance to do something, or you never would have landed the blow you did on him. Mm, agree to disagree. Just, you, you got him, so I suppose I can't say anything about that. But it's... I didn't think it was possible. She looks down at her hand very much and like, I didn't think it was possible for you to even do this to us. Should we Should we go though? You know, they won't fight yeah. forever out there. Um, and I would prefer not to be in here when the next round of uh, SWAT uh, people come in. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start walking, yeah. I guess. Avedon, uh, you were about to say something? Uh, I, well, I say I think that's a good move. And then before we walk off, I uh, get close to, uh, to Artemis again, and I go, I'll explain more to you about that later. She grabs your arm and you feel that exact thing again, where she grabs like it's going to be forceful and then isn't like, <laughs> and she just says, You, I will 
I will make a deal. If you are honest with me, I will be honest with you. I think that's fair. Also, I want you to know that besides just making the score settle, you fight very well. And that was another reason why I chose to, you know, make you one of us. Uh, you, s oh, sorry, go ahead. You, uh, you stood out to me and I feel as though you will do well to be a soldier of the Dark Father. You, Avedon, see a complex series of emotions flash across her face almost in in an instant of horror at what she's become pride at the compliment in the power of the blood of la sombra flowing through her veins and the tiniest smile comes up on her face and she says the lord moves in mysterious ways right Precisely. You're learning quick. And I kiss her on the forehead. And then I uh, continue to move with the rest of the group. And she comes out. So again, in the lobby, all of you now clearly see this brawl taking place. And it is true, Esther. It is already starting to slow down a little bit, simply because, quite frankly, they're getting exhausted. Most people can't fight for long. <laughs> the adrenaline dump kicks in. So lots of people are, like, laid out and, and rolling around and trying to get to their feet. You can see, like, some tear gas has gone off um, out there. But it is uh, a chaotic scene that is definitely, like, in its in its final act. I'm with Esther on this one. Where is it that you all want to go? Um, well, firstly, covertly to the other side of the, the police line that's been set up. Um, so you do intend to go out the front door into the brawl? Yeah, they aren't looking at us. Maybe stay close to the building, though, so that we aren't actively jumping into a fight. Yeah, they're aggro range. We don't, we don't want to pull them. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> now you're speaking my language over there. I'm like, which now, one of you is tanking? Right. <laughs> we're down there in that alley. Is there another way around it? Like, do we see like a tunnel to go through or is there a way into uh, the basement if we wanted to do that? Or is our only option to go through the front? No, no. So to so to be to be clear, again, you all are standing in the main lobby of this palatial building. Uh, outside, basically on 79th Street, is a police barricade of 911 responders and onlookers that Esther essentially incited to violence. So the the front door is where the chaos is erupting. Uh, Eli has found a way into the basement. Again, there are back entrances. There's other staircases. There's you know you sort of have the run of the building. As far as you can tell, there are no more agents in here, at least not that have been revealed so far. So you definitely have options. It's just the one that is in front of you is the, is the direct approach. But yes, you can make your way to the basement. You can make your way back to the parking garage. You can make your way back out to that alley. Uh, again, Cherry lives here. You could, it, any way they want to go, you know how to get there. Yes, so we, we have options right now, guys, but I'm not so sure how I feel about this whole going to the basement plan. Not loving it to be honest. Oops. You, you don't think that Jigala will be upset if we just don't show? Um, if I may. Uh, I feel as though, well, I feel Hugo might be able to take care of this on his own when it comes to them. Uh, the Nas don't really like to hurt their own kind. But mm, uh, to take or leave any of us, really. Um, but uh, they're, they're a, a sort of clan over sect kind of uh, kind of people. Um, Hugo will be safe no matter what. Um, doesn't mean we will. Hmm. I'm gonna head to the basement. I guess with everything I know, it would make it very difficult for them if they were to upset me. to talk they will protect you or I will not protect them 
I look at Avedon to see how she reacts to that. There, there is a lot of thinking though, but I'll trust you. And just uh, everyone be on guard. It, it does feel a little odd, but oh, I don't like him. He's gross. I'm gonna move uh, over to the basement. That sounds like we're in agreement. I reluctantly head with them toward the basement, but have I have I joined the group yet? Oh yeah, I mean you were you were all there to yeah after you you came down yes you're you're all very much together. Have I, I... popped in all my body parts? <laughs> uh, yes, I would say you you've healed as much superficial as uh, your blood potency will allow, so you can move. You definitely look and feel beat to hell though. Some stuff is like not lined up quite right, but uh, you're mobile. Yes, that's fine. This is how I feel. Uh, I do uh, kind of walk up behind uh, Cherry as we're walking and I look at her and I kind of wink at her like remember the plan and I just kind of stay close to her so that like in case we have to do some like Batman and Robin like link arms and do the like space kick fighting like we got that we could also just split up we have Gigolo take some to one group and one group go speak with the um, the Memphis person Mm. Nepal. Well, did you have fun? Was that a fun ride? She is standing there just wide-eyed watching all the people outside fighting. And she's like, yeah, this is like the craziest night of my life. Cherry, is this what it's like for you all the time? It, it is not as fun as you think it is. I don't know how to get that across to you. And I frankly don't want you to get to the point where you understand it. I mean, it's this or the fucking Hamptons. Come on, Cherry. Come on, Cherry. There's nothing that you can say that will make me change my mind about this. Cherry, are you happy? No. Why? Are any of us? Why are you not happy? Because people who used to look at you and think you're amazing will suddenly look at you and think you're a monster. Yeah. I remember I had a wife. I had children. But I look like this. And I am this. You don't. And whoever you make will not look like that either. My own wife looked at me and saw a monster. My own children. And you just like look like you. It's not my business. But being with your family forever, that would have been a nice option for me. But I don't have that. And I look like this now. The things we have to do to survive not a life I want for her. Apple looks at you, Cherry, and she says, you came back for us, and they knew you cared or they wouldn't have used me as bait, but you have not made a good decision in your entire life, Hugo. <laughs> and she looks down at your broken legs and <laughs> cracked body, and she's just like, I don't know if you know what the Hamptons is. Uh, to me, it's a fucking prison. I know it doesn't seem that way to other people, but if you tell me, Hugo, if you tell me to go with my mom and get in the car that she calls and go back to some fucking gilded cage, I will do it because I owe you. And Cherry, I will listen to him because you came for us. 
But what is it, Viking man? Run or fight? Do you like your sister? No. <laughs> but she looks at you, she's like, but I love her, though. What? I said, no, I don't like her, but I love her. Do you want her to live? Yeah, apparently she can't fucking die, Hugo. She got shot and was still bouncing around topless like it was nothing. Yeah, but you are. You just fell 17 flights of st stairs and... You are the weakest part of her. Because she loves you. And you're weak. And I am tired. You can't make her do anything that she doesn't feel is right. But... I mean, we're all in prison. And none of us are getting out. I'd rather be in prison with my own family instead of them being a memory. I have these tattoos. Sometimes I remember what they mean and sometimes I don't know. This is between you and your sister. I have nothing to do with this. You all are moving um, during this, heading towards the basement, watching this exchange. And Artemis leans over to you, Avedon. And she just says, Is this what it's always like for your kind? Our kind? Um, what in particular are you referring to? Murder? Insanity? Mm, angst? Um, uh, it's not the goal? No. Um, uh, 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 so we have different um, sects and different beliefs as well. Um, my companions here are um, uh, what you call anarchs. Uh, they, they like to shoot a lot. Yes, yes, that is a thing. Um, I myself belong to the Camarilla, a um, little more political. Um, some say uh, underhanded, but you know, tomato, tomato. Uh, we do things um, with words, mostly mostly i have a, a lot of objections to things that you just said but also as i'm standing in the doorway <laughs> to the base mm -hmm. are we gonna were we gonna get out of here artemis just looks at you um avadon and she says i will go where you go but if this is a trap her silver blade just like leaps into her hand it's like we'll carve our way out of it Yes, um, that's fine. And uh, she looks over and she goes, I, I want you to know that I only say that because I have to explain uh, something that you should know, and that's that uh, I did not ask permission to make you. Is, is that a problem? Um, for me, yes. For them, not so much. So when we do get back to wherever we are going, um, we're going to have to deal with something um, that may get may get more murdery before it gets more talky. Eli, yep. Dimitri, Hugo, you're all aware of what she's talking about. Cherry, you're fairly young. Roughly how old is Esther? Um, Esther is uh she was she was embraced in the seventies, so like 
Esther's definitely been around long enough. The only one who doesn't understand what she's talking about is you, Cherry. Specifically, those of you, whether or not you've been part of the cam, some things you just are the baseline of what you're taught. And yes, you are supposed to have permission to create a child because everything the child does is a reflection of you, just like you are a reflection of your sire. The potential punishments of that vary based on who's in power at the time. But it is one of the fundamental traditions. Avedon has broken a significant rule. Avedon. I guess you go. Your eyes look like how I feel. Um, <clears throat> same. You're but we'll. Uh, Are you in trouble? You're in trouble. Maybe. For this thing? Yes, I did not ask permission to create them, and um... Do you need to keep them alive? I would feel wrong if I didn't. You, you would feel wrong? Something in them. I see it. I don't understand. What is wrong? Hmm. Well, uh, the vicar finds out. Um, sometimes punishment is up to, and including being put to death, and uh, I will have to tell the vicar. Right, but you knew that going into this, so I assume you've weighed that out for yourself, yeah? Oh, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, I have. Well, uh, this is a fantastic conversation to have, maybe in a safer place. I agree. Speaking of the vicar, we have made no progress towards what he asked us to do. Uh, yes, and again, I only bring it up now because I feel like whatever we get done here will probably be immediately headed back to him. So I just want you all to be prepared for how that might happen. We had no dealings with what you did. Mm, no, you did not. We will leave it at that. For now. Wow, you're a little naughtier than I thought you were. Maybe so. Hmm. Anyway, um. No question. Cheering. Yes, Hugo. And I, I look for like a flask or something messed up on me uh, I would say most of your personal effects have lasted centuries so they were dinged and beaten but he's still intact you got like an old tin flask type yeah. thing that who, who doesn't like a, a rusty tin whiskey infused <laughs> okay. flask yeah no no that's blindness in a bottle yeah for anybody that is not a yeah. it's so, pro use of the plot of the uh, practical effects prepared. there Jerry I am um, this is a deeper thing. Um, this is not with a evil or manipulation. I ask this, but you are wounded. Would you put your blood in the flask? It's not clean as it should be. What? Why? Um, sometimes I can see things in the past. And sometimes I can see things in the future. And I think this is important. I mean, that stuff's valuable. If you got another flask, I'll, uh, we might as well load up, right? Uh, what, you want me to just, like, bleed yeah, into this I'm flask? I'm just adding on I'm to the idea. I'm just making sure I understand. He was thrown out there. I'm, there's yeah, no yeah. Here. No, 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 no. Bleed, yeah. If you got blood to spare, uh, put it in the flask. I'm gonna give Eli a hard um, look when he chimes in on that. I, uh, sure. Um, you've, you've helped me out a lot tonight, Hugo. I, 
find it really hard to say no to you. So, uh, Cherry, you are more than capable of willing your vitae to come out into the surface and out into this vessel if you so choose. Okay. Um, every point of blood that you put into the flask, your hunger will increase by one. You physically have right. lost it. So okay. it is up to you how much you turn over. Well. Um, how do I know? Is it is it my... Well, if I've got two hunger right now. So, okay. So let me tell you how it, get, how it goes. Okay. Um, oh, shit. The max you can get to is five because okay. if anything happens that would have driven you to six mm -hmm. you automatically frenzy okay um as the as your hunger increases the beast comes more and more to the surface which practically you just start acting or meaner and nastier mechanically you roll more blood dice which makes you know unintended effects right. more likely okay Screw it. I like living on the edge. I'll do two points worth of blood into it. You open up the robe, uh, revealing your an interesting dichotomy there of what would have been perfectly sculpted human with a grievous injury right in the middle of her <laughs> midsection. Again, you had healed it slightly. Uh, again, it, any normal human would have been very dead from this injury. And sure enough, you hold the flask up, Hugo, and some of the vitae very clearly and slowly starts coming out. Um, all of you make a willpower roll. Roll your unspent willpower. Even oh, though God. I am not in it's... the room? Well, I mean, you're all on the way to the basement. Oh, I thought they were just still so, standing yeah. in the lobby. Oh, no, okay. this is all no. this is all en route to the basement. It's like that old timey. Oh, you know, no. Let's all go also to the basement. The so let's zero. go to the basement. Do I also make the roll? No, it's your vitae. It's just right. the yeah, smell of blood last... just oh, smells really great. I see what's really happening great. here. I yeah. see what's happening here. These, these last targeted right so now. Be a yeah. these two last successes and a critical success. Night. So uh, I have not had a chance to replenish my willpower. Yeah, and I, I haven't either. <laughs> yeah, so just no. Roll, so I, if I have two left, I only you have roll two. two left, you roll two dice. And one of them has to be, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Zero. I, feel, for... I just feel a little called out right now. Is I'm... <laughs> you're like just at me next time. Two. How many for Dimitri? Um, zero successes and a critical failure on a blood dice. So uh, you're lucky here because willpower is the one roll you do not roll blood dice. So it actually isn't possible to critically Damn fail uh, willpower. <laughs> but, you, but you also cannot spend any more. Um, both. Dimitri, on how many was it for you, Hugo? Uh, three successes. Uh, Hugo, you're fine. Um, you you smell it again. It smells magnificent, but you can control it. Esther, how many was I that for you? I one die and got one success. Esther, you need to eat. You're like, mm, okay, all right. No, no, you're hungry now. You're like, wait a minute. Like, hang on. Wherever we're going, can it involve food? Uh, Eli, how many was that for you? I got two. I only had two left, so I... Same thing. You're it's... able to control it a mm -hmm. little bit more, but you're like, no, no, it's, uh, it's time to eat. Like, it is. Uh, Avedon and Dimitri. Is the smell of this Vitae fills your nostrils. Dimitri just scenes from the past start to play in your mind of things you've done on many battlefields all over the world and you see his eyes start to become sort of red and bloodshot at the scent of this and like he very much sort of like kind of hunches over a little bit and avadon you too realize just how much this has cost you over the course of the night and what lay ahead of you when you are going to have to face the vicar 
you're like whatever else happens like you have to feed now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carrie uh, you were sort of willing this to happen and he's filling up the flask and you're, you're like this is weird I've never done this but okay cool 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 and the two of them are both like <laughs> you very much see it yeah I slash open my arm uh, what what is your maybe your... it's time to feed then feed on me neither of you are removed from your ability or requirement to eat what you eat so the idea that Hugo is offering isn't necessarily uh, what all of you want but at least one of you is looking pretty good and it's a deep cut yeah, but I, I did. Yeah, but I also didn't. I didn't fail, and I want to wait a little bit, a little bit longer. You basically needed three to be unaffected. You got two. Okay. You have you. You were in control of your fact. The two of them are animals right now. Like, <laughs> like no, 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 no. Food, 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 food. You, you are, you are hangry, but you are composed, Eli. I uh. Come to really, uh, come to where the flavor is. Come to Nosferatu country. <laughs> really appreciate the offer there, Hugo. Um, as I can, I, I can I can tell they're breaking down. I know this blood just oh, spilling on yeah. the floor uselessly. Yeah, no, they're they're the, Dimitri and Avedon are both not even trying to hide it because they're not capable of hiding it. But I can tell they're also not into what uh, into what Hugo has to offer either. <laughs> I mean, neither of them tackled him. <laughs> so, uh, I'm starting to feel a little what? hurt. Uh, what, what, what's that evidence? Okay. Sorry. Feeling a little hurt. You don't. You don't have another flask, Just do you, Hugo? Letting you know. <laughs> wait, wait. What's what? What's this Abaddon? Sorry. Uh, Abaddon's gonna walk over to uh, Cherry's mom. Uh, they don't seem to like have like a great relationship she's not gonna kill her but she's definitely gonna be like let me tell you a secret real quick and she's just gonna kind of like give her a little kiss on the neck give her a little hickey and do you feed uh i do but i'm only gonna take one dot because i don't want to the beast has other plans you're in the grips of a (laughs) hunger frenzy ma'am roll your unspent willpower again <laughs> again, yeah, no, I, again, Maylee, I know, I, I know what listen, you think I'm not is important. That I'm hurt, but I'm hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I know what you think. And, and the irony is, uh, she's not the one that was supposed to feed on Karens in this campaign. And we were like, <laughs> we just won't even do that. And now here we oh, are. Yeah, that was my whole deal. <laughs> yeah. uh, again, Avedon, there's what you have planned, um, and then there's what the Beast has planned. So, how many successes was that? I had one willpower. I rolled one die. I got no successes. Uh, you sink your fangs in, and her eyes roll back in her head because being fed on is pleasurable to mortals. After the the initial, like, oh dear, ooh, <laughs> she just sort of goes with it. I will give all of you a single wits and awareness. Not you, Dimitri, because you do not care. <laughs> the rest, everyone else, can have one wits and awareness to realize that she absolutely will drain this woman dry. Mm-hmm. He's very like. <laughs> I got three. <laughs> Three, two. I don't know, only I don't know, roll that many. I got three. Three. Two successes. Two. Uh, Eli and Hugo, you're like, mm, IDK, because she seems pretty tough, but I don't know, dude. Like, she's not slowing down. <laughs> uh, is there anything like the help action in Vampire? Uh, what is it that you intend to accomplish? I. Okay, so she's feeding on Cherry's mom. Yes. I get very close respect respectfully to Abaddon. I don't I don't know your story. Abaddon, I think you need to slow up a bit. And um Avedon is wild-eyed and woolly with her face buried in this woman's neck. I think it would be safe to assume that unless one of you tackles her, I'm going to tackle her. her she's going to keep going. Okay. 
I'm going. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh, I just I her. Yeah, I that appreciate that. That yeah. Hugo's like, hey, Avadon, let me ask you something. Get. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna celerity my way over and try and like bodily just pull her off. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna use my potence. Mm -hmm. Just. I, I'm about to if I need to. I'm just gonna uh, pull well, her up like. A, my potence is still active, off. right? Uh, when Esther and uh, Cherry see the two of them being like, hey, 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 cool, cool, cool. <laughs> you know, to, what did the two of you do? Um, well, uh, I I would like to quickly, because that's something I'm good at, just try and kind of like whoop and push them apart. Uh, again, to stop Avedon yeah, from, from I, feeding you know, on... I... on... The mom Cherry's did. mom gives mm -hmm. her a really hard time. I'm sort of into giving Cherry a hard time, so she and I sympathize. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want mm -hmm. her dead yet. Uh, what does Cherry do? I'm gonna say Cherry stands kind of transfixed at when she sees this, what's going on, but does not move to stop her. You notice Apple doesn't move either. Apple doesn't make a peep. Is you all sort of spring into action? Um, Avedon, give me one strength and brawl. As they all are sort of like trying to be like, no, stop, don't. And on the inside, you're sort of like, or, or do, you know? No, <laughs> you're, like, you're like, you're like, you're like, hear me out, hear me out. She's terrible anyway. Now at this point, because I've been <laughs> drinking from her, Am I still at four hunger, or can I, can I drop a hunger die or two out of that? Oh, no, your hunger's definitely coming down. I, I would say uh, you can take three without killing her, so I will say you've taken three, and this will be the last. This is, okay. if they don't intervene, this will be the last drop that you're about to take from her. Which four. also makes sense, because that would mathematically even bring me to hunger zero. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, strength and brawl. Mm hmm uh, and uh, am I am I grappling right now? Even though uh, I will say, even though you are, your willpower is still down. Your hunger is decreasing too. Like off in the distance, you're aware of the fact that they're trying to stop you from killing this woman. The question is, do you want to stop, not kill her? Yes. So I will not include my special feet. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was I was allowed to fight against my beast. I know the beast fights as hard as it can. I wasn't sure. Right. Well, you did. Allowed did, to did. be like, bitch, don't. <laughs> well, different. You know, under different circumstances, the beast wants what it wants. But it is true. You you got a pretty good sip. <laughs> that was that's seven with a critical. So they're like, please stop, please stop. And somewhere inside, you're like, I could, but mm, maybe I don't wanna. You know, she's terrible anyway. Uh, as you're feeding, Hugo is pulling on you, Esther is pulling on you, Eli is pulling on you, but they're, they can only generate so much power because if they just push this woman, they'll just like crush her in your arms. And you're sort of like, well, bye. As you uh, sort of open your mouth to sort of like deliver the final blow, you feel Artemis drives her arm into your mouth where you bite into her. And she sort of like pulls you for a second. And she just says in your ear, she doesn't deserve a warrior's death. Which would am give I, you, huh? I am mean, I able you, to you, yeah. Am I, yeah. I'm out of the grips. Mm hmm. Okay. She right. very much like slumps to the ground, just sort of, because uh, hey, until you lick it closed, I mean, you know, she's got two, <laughs> she's got two holes in her neck and lost a lot of blood. Uh, Dimitri. I'm trying to note. <laughs> I was going. I was gonna stab her with the, with the juice we picked up earlier. So I'm, just kind of covertly trying to. Oh that yeah, back. you're like oh cool, 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 yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Dimitri, yes. Dimitri. Again, uh, you know there are these two people here. There's Cherry's mother and her sister, which you know may or may not matter to you. There's a whole bunch of people outside, and the mission is ahead. But you have to feed Dimitri. Ah. Uh. You need to eat. Just want to paint the scene. Everybody is focusing on Abaddon and Cherry's mom. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> and. I will snap you. <laughs> hey, you're otherwise I... occupied, bro. See if you're trying, you're trying to save Demetria right now. So um, I, have a, I have an important oh, no, question. No, 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 
we know that I appreciate I just appreciate that Dimitri's like hang on let me just ask you one question <laughs> <laughs> Cherry's mom was going for pills yeah so it's reasonable uh-huh. to expect that she uh, might have something in her system uh huh oh she definitely does yeah, yeah. No, she what had some stuff. Apple? I mean, you know what you know about Cherry. She seems like a little bit of a train wreck, and this young one does too. You haven't seen her take anything, but, you know. <laughs> Is that something I can smell on blood? Do you have the bloodhound merit? Uh, you can give me wits and awareness, but it would be tough. There are some specific powers that uh, enable it, but uh, if you do not possess them, it just is what it is. Well, Cherry, I'm just glad we could help save your family <laughs> for lunch. Uh, that's two successes. Uh, you're not sure. Yeah, you're not sure. She, uh, you, she seemed pretty mellow in the midst of all of this insanity, but otherwise, you're, you just don't know. I got a taster. This well, same thing. Give me your willpower to see if you are capable of uh, taking just a little or not. I have one success. You could probably stop after two. Now, if it tastes, I'm I'm real. Uh, a the drugs, you know, they are they are big. I will not feed on the drug infested body. So if I taste that, I gotta like. I mean, this is adult content, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna say the kids on stuff. All right, <laughs> Beast is from. I would in say, there, sink my fang things in, and immediately, guys, mm-hmm. she's like, uh, oh, he's garbage human. Uh, again, being fed on is pleasurable, so she's more surprised than anything. <laughs> uh, ooh. And at this stage. I don't, ruling, um, how far into the basement are we? Uh, you are probably one more flight of stairs to go down. Yeah, I would say you're equal distance between outside where there's all kinds of people, but a lot of witnesses, and uh, in about one more level down to theoretically the way out. But we don't see anybody else to feed on right now. Not so far. Looks like the building was evacuated. Except for me. <laughs> Hugo's like... I got the goods. <laughs> he t- he t- what, what's going on, on no, feeding he, he, the vampire? Like I don't I don't know how that all works. Um, you can. Um, the nothing, the only nothing bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, he tastes like he looks. Um, the the only real the only real risk of feeding on a fellow kindred is potentially becoming bloodbound. Uh, if you do feed on his blood and you do not have the unbondable merit or anything like that, you would have a one-step bond to Hugo, which usually the way I rule it, the game's very vague about what that means. I basically rule you're essentially like under a similar effect as awe. Uh, you're by no means a mindless slave, but you like very highly prize what Hugo thinks about things. <laughs> <laughs> well, given the choice between feeding on drug-infested bodies or running off into the night, I'm going to go with the most local thing. And even though Hugo is currently trying to inject himself in between these two, I'm just... Just disgust. Hey, uh, Grab Hugo. Hugo's arm. And yeah, he, 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 he's the battlefield, I, 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 he's the battlefield I, 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 I ration. I address an issue about my blood that's being discussed right now. Okay, I... I, I I would like to think that I am the fast food of blood and that it's delicious at first, but yeah, you regret Straight it. Straight to your eyes. No, no. No, you're three day old Taco Bell. That's that's centuries old Nas blood, buddy. That was best. I don't know. Enough. You're not that you're blood, not saying anything that blood, that's wrong to me right now. That blood was steeped in the Hudson, <laughs> sir. What did you see from And the I am the Hudson. <laughs> I was the thing that was poisoning the Hudson. <laughs> uh Dimitri, this, you give me another willpower roll, although it will be much easier to resist draining Hugo because it's this is not necessarily what you would have liked given your choice. Come to where the flavor is. Come to Hugo country. 
Uh, important yeah. clarification, Avedon. Do you lick her mother's neck to close the wound? Okay. All right. Uh, hey, that yeah. is a thing that happens, by the way. I don't know if it's been stated outright, but uh, with a kindred that feeds, you can lick it, the wound that your fangs cause, and close it. Two? Just like uh, real life. <laughs> just, I mean, that's a thing that happens, Two right? Two successes, no. but I did not lick Apple. She got some... No, you haven't yet. Apple very much still has two holes in her neck. Oh, no, believe me. Guess who kept track of that? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you are able, when you bite in, you are able to control it. How much do you, two important questions, how much do you attempt to take from Hugo? In Hugo, do you let him do it? Because Dimitri Oh, I let him take in. whatever he needs to. I do feel like he's going to have, like, early onset male pattern baldness again even it's true you might grow a nose back you don't know yeah but um, around the mustache <laughs> where don't, even put a nose in the wrong place. <laughs> don't even joke about that don't even joke about it whoop <laughs> oh, his mustache. You're just bald. bald here. Just that, right oh, here. No. Every male pattern lip baldness. That's the pattern right there. You're like, oh no. I quit. No more vampire. Um, I'm out. No more vampire. Got too so dark. Curse of the neck too beard. It, it all just moves down to just yeah. right you here. You can only grow hair. Too much personal <laughs> horror. <laughs> no. That's your Nosferatu curse. Stop her. <laughs> I only need to take one to to hit zero, I think. I was at I was at two. I fed off uh, the SWAT dude, and I was at one. Oh well, to hit zero, you have to kill the target. Uh, so you if you only need one, basically, like one would kind of snap you out of it. Do one. Yeah, but by taking one, your hunger does increase by one, Hugo. And even for a kindred, being fed upon is still pleasurable. Now, had this gone a different way, there is a chance that you might have involuntarily tried to diablerize him, and then other things would have happened. Uh, but in this case, on Hugo, unless you try and stop him, you do feel his fangs sink into your flesh. You do feel him begin to feed on you. And unless you stop him, he does take one point. I don't stop him, but I want to make sure that it's no, that he feels like he's just sunk his fangs into a very old Tostino uh, pizza pocket. And uh, that's the, the general vibe he gets from that. With yeah, Hudson River know. sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Hudson yeah. River sauce with shrimp. Um, mm, shrimp yeah. with too many eyes, though. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I just let him feed on me and. At the same time, I'm co trying to cover up Apple this entire time. Cherry, you being the only one that didn't really get caught up in all of this insanity. Yeah, by the way, that... I'm like, whoa, what, what did I just witness? Because I'm already weirded out by the whole flask thing. And then just this just happened. Yeah. No, and then it all happens like very abruptly. That he's like <laughs> yeah. flask and they're like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah again yeah, it's like that old have you ever seen that footage of that old russian talk show where the dude had the bear and the bear sitting next to the woman the, the entire show and then it just looks at her and it's like Rah! It just yeah. bounces out of nowhere mm -hmm. it's it's that yep it's that yeah you notice in and this is in you're russia. all making your way down into the, the basement this in mother oh, russia sorry. talk show eat you <laughs> exactly you're not you, wrong you notice uh, as all of this insanity is taking place again, Cherry, Apple is stone faced. I mean, she's just watching it like. Do I see the marks on her neck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two holes, blood. I run over to her like a protective mom and like poke them and like. Who fed on her? Hey, who fed on her? <laughs> The rest of you kind of didn't notice. I mean, like, stuff was happening, to tell Ooh, you the truth. <laughs> but I noticed, right? Mm, you were busy fighting with Avedon. Like, uh, this This all... You well, know what? I, I will let you... Deduction. I will give you wits and awareness, Hugo, because we've established that Apple was a priority for you. Uh, you were tied up. You couldn't intervene. It did happen. But we will see, at least if you noticed it happen. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna ask. I'm, I'm gonna pull some Todd Kenrick bullshit. Uh, I'm I like since someone's feeding off me right now <laughs> of a particular person. Um, I'm going to, and I expect their tongues out. I'm going to slowly draw my sharp, long fingernail across their tongue, 
spooling their saliva into it. And I'm going to attempt to take that and rub it on Apple's wound to try to heal it. And if you say no, that's fine. But I'll snap his freaking neck. You'll try. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm just kidding. I mean, right, histori- fight. Hi- historically, that's not a thing. Uh, but that is an unsettling enough image. I'm going to allow it. <laughs> or I can pull his tongue out. I'm totally down for either. It's, it's totally it's, it's, your option as it's, game it's, master. D- D- Dimitri, Dimitri's no slouch here. He's terrible. <laughs> um, yes, you. Uh, I will say when you do this, it does seal the wound uh, on her neck because reasons. I can say I've done this a lot. That's not a question I've ever been posed with. Um, so, um, yeah. Welcome to Honestly, me. to tell you the truth, even as I'm saying it out loud, I don't even know if it's written anywhere that only the kindred that inflicted the wound can lick it closed. I know you can close the, you can do it, but I don't even know if you can lick close another kindred's wounds. I actually don't know. I'm gonna say since it's freaking magic, no. But um, uh, yes, it does. It does. Seal I just the sprinkle. Wound. Yeah, I sprinkle his saliva. It's true. Uh, internet. I, I, internet. I reserve. I reserve the right to like look into this and say something different next time. But I'm gonna say. <laughs> Only you can uh, lick, lick, close the wounds. And yes, Cherry. I, I'm not raising my hand. I'm literally just like stunned at what I'm seeing happen. Yeah, no, that's that is a that is a, it is a thing. It's a thing in both Avedon and Dimitri. You know, it 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 takes a moment for the beast to like pull its claws out of your brain. You know that even the the vitae sort of flowing through you to sort of be like <clears throat> it's like waking up from a nightmare where you have those few moments of like. Um, how is, uh, how is Cherry's mom looking right now? Oh, she's pretty bad. No, she was almost dead. Like, I mean, she's, 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 uh, she's not unconscious, but I mean, she's spaghetti legs. Like, she needs a cookie and some juice, for sure. Uh, so, uh, I have the next best thing. Um, I'm no. going to walk up to her, and I'm going to bite into the tip of my finger, because it doesn't take a whole hell of a lot. And I'm going to look at her and go, this is a one-time use thing. The more it gets in your system, the more it builds up and it'll kill you. Don't ever ask me for it again. And I swipe a little dot of blood uh, across her tongue uh, just to kind of give her enough pep to, you know, walk. Do you have any celerity? Uh, I do not. (sighs) The dice giveth and the dice taketh away. When you say, this will just give you a little pep this will only work once oh, or it no. will kill you. Oh no. Apple lunges on you and goes <laughs> I'm smack the shit out of Apple. She takes no, boom, no, she no, takes no, it. No, 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 yeah. But she sort of looks around and she goes <sighs> And I go and I also look at Hugo because I know he was supposed to protect her and I go, believe me, Hugo, that was for her own good that I just smacked that girl. She's uh, going to get herself killed. All of you have been you. kindred long enough that you're quite aware she was still alive. So having consumed the Vitae would make her a ghoul, not a kindred. But you do know it would make her a ghoul. So tell me, be there. <laughs> what are the rules on becoming a vampire in Vampire of the Masquerade? She a person, so honestly, to tell you the truth, uh, I probably, well, to create a kindred, you essentially have to take them to death's door and then feed them their vitae. Uh, If I were a worse person, she would have turned her mom into a vampire, not a ghoul. (laughs) But no, you guys stopped her in time. Uh, A living person that consumes vitae is a ghoul. So basically one on death's door becomes kindred, one who's still alive becomes a ghoul. So she was going to ghoul her mother. She has now ghouled Apple. <laughs> yeah, but neither of them are kindred. There is at least one instance of a ghoul dying and coming back to life as uh, a kindred. That was um, Jada Cross is the name that's coming to mind. Um, she actually ended up becoming a thin blood because of it, but uh, I might be saying the wrong name. Smiling Jack's ghoul. Look it up, kids. Um, she's the one that uh, killed Tara Kearney in the old uh, continuity. So I Apple will. has been punched. She has been bitten. <laughs> Apple has been backhanded. Apple has been backhanded. Apple has been she bitten. Has that been is true. Fed. Just tasted. Just tasted. 
You're not doing uh, a good job keeping her safe right now, Hugh. No, she looks uh, she looks pretty. She looks incredibly happy, actually. From even though she took the blood and then took the backhand, I mean, she's standing there like, and her, her skin is turning red from the welt. You've witnessed the things Avedon's capable of. You're sure that if she wanted to kill the girl, she would have. But okay. she very much is like, Sherry, <laughs> what is wrong with your family? <laughs> if, ah. you, if you weren't down for some Todd Kenrick bullshit before, um, get ready for this. Uh, what flaw can I possibly take? <laughs> To do what? Permanently. <laughs> to do what? Forever. I'm going to go up to Apple. And I totally get you can say no. No is totally okay. I look over at Cherry. I'm the monster. You are not. I slice apple and I feed cherries bitey trying to turn her with a mix of my own blood but I do not I will sacrifice anything all my experience points ever I will take whatever I have to for her not to look like me to look like herself I will take what horrible flaw. I will have three eyes. I will I will be a slug oozing with nothing but eight fangs. I want to make her a vampire. I want her to be safe. I want her to be strong. And I'm willing to die for it. Cherry and, and this character. Cherry and Esther have ranks and celerity, correct? correct? Uh, but only Cherry and Esther have ranks of celerity, correct? I'm willing to kill them not, too, by the way. I have, I have two ranks of celerity. And presence, but no celerity. Uh, no celerity. Esther yep. and Eli, you were the only two that are fast enough that you could do something before this happens. You all see Hugo stalk towards her. You see him drawing the knife in mm. semi slow motion for the two of you. Because uh, again, you guys are supernaturally fast. Are you doing it with a knife or your claws? I am doing it with my claws. And I'm making, I, I am saying this. You have not been in this world for very long. It is your choice. I will snap off my entire arm if that means you are safe. This is you and your moment. understand that being human is one of the last things I liked about myself and I don't like who I am now but someone needs to protect Jerry and I don't know that I know how you see that like she's sort of looking around the room and you all see the shadows around her look like they get a little bit darker and you see like they sort of like play over her a little bit and she looks almost like uh, the circles under her eyes get like much darker and quite frankly she looks way more menacing even though she's like 14 and she just looks down at her hand and she goes no hugo this is fantastic is there more of this? And she looks right past Hugo at you, Avedon, and says, is there more of this? I want more of this. <clears throat> You're cut off. Make her safe. Tell them she, it's my she, fault. She, she should be able to protect herself now, Hugo. I think yeah, you I see, think you're, tell you're them it's my safe. fault. It's my fault, let them burn me. You see Hugo, even as she's like looking down, it's almost like if she'd been lit on fire, but instead of flames, it's tiny bits of shadow. Like you've seen what Avedon is capable of, where it's like full like eruptions of these things. It's not that. It is very much just like dancing over her skin. And she's just like standing there smiling like, <laughs> yes, yes. 
I have that... seen enough. I'm going to tackle Hugo. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I say that being said, and I, as soon as he goes in for the tackle, uh, I'm going to make sure that, uh, that, that like Apple's facing away. And when Apple is, I'm going to try to give another dot of blood to uh, her mom so that she, again, can actually stand up. Uh, if nobody like tries to intervene or anything, it is very easy. Like she's not going anywhere, and you're like, cool, 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 cool. Hold on. <laughs> and uh, she just sort of like sits there for a moment. Give me your strength and brawl, uh, Eli. Um, is this the same? Does this count? This is a different scene. Do I need to rouse my blood again? Uh, no, I will. I will give it to you that this is continued. All right. Esther, again, you also are supernaturally fast that you see like Eli sort of like <laughs> in his direction. Uh, I what is oh, I don't care. I want to move really hard. So I'm going to spend one of my last willpower too. Okay. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six successes. Uh, crit or no crit? Uh, um, or one regular crit. So. Okay, give me your strength and brawl, um, Hugo, uh, to resist this. You don't see him coming, but you know, <laughs> once he hits, uh, you can do what you do. How do I dice? <clears throat> so, I have strength of four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> I have potence of three. He's a strong boy. Me too. And I will burn all of the willpower I have. I've got one more left. I'll... <laughs> oh, I have more. So do I, I do, currently well, am at let's... four willpower. What do, do I need I, to do? Do either of you um, have um, the prowess potency? Oh, wait, ability? wait, wait. So four strength brawl, right? As yeah, well? strength and brawl. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, strength yeah. Brawl. I got potence of three. So. But do you specifically have the power of prowess? I mean, I could not, not, not. I didn't choose it. I was <laughs> trying for the it's Schrodinger's power. <laughs> I will be completely honest. I was, I was trying for the strongest boy. Well, then prowess would would be. Does, he, does Eli have it? What, what is that? What is that under? Is that a discord? Uh, it is the second level potence power. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know it was a thing. I got it. Yeah, I was yes, trying for vampire yes, Superman. Yes, Eli has it. Yeah, yeah. well, no, but that, you no. know, without the good luck, yes. I, would, I would say you have <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, to to be clear, again, we haven't discussed this oh, here. Uh, most of them have. Uh, this is their first time playing vampire. Actually, everybody but Maeve is their first time playing vampire. So hey, for I each, played it before. I mean, it was V5, the nineties. V five. This is their first time in V five in the modern era. Your hipster creds <laughs> intact. I was on rollerblades. <laughs> um, each discipline has five levels and you can take up to five total powers but each level you can either pick a power of that level or one of the previous powers um but yes i will say you both have prowess which means you can both add your uh potence dice to this exchange so i had six now i need to roll more so yeah keep, keep that, that just uh You're so uh, lucky yeah, I said yeah, because i think you dice. said you had i think you said yeah. you had Thank one you for sending all the dice by the way so that brings me up this to a moment <laughs> I believe you had one crit die before. You still only I have did. the one crit die? Uh, yeah, okay. I had one, one crit die, yeah. Okay, so how much willpower can I burn? So you can spend one to re-roll up to three black dice. <laughs> and potence is like an auto? Yeah. Uh, technically, you need to do a rouse check, but uh, for this, rule of cool, I didn't make him do it, so I'm not making you do it, so <laughs> this will just well, be a push. I, I did before. Here, six, seven. <laughs> oh. So seven. Well, you you oh, did a rouse shit. check to raise your attributes by rousing the blood. Uh, prowess yeah, is right. a different power. Gotcha. You. Okay, you're right. And how? So can you spend multiple willpower in the same roll? You can. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Um. Okay. So I got one, two, three, and then a Nosferatu face because apparently I'm reading tea leaves. Um. <laughs> I've got two dark and i've got three potents uh well no the potence is extra dice so have oh, oh okay you've so got I three potents roll, roll, roll those apologies um and that's three successes and i am willing to turn those two black into 
burn two willpower to turn those blacks. Uh, you just uh, have to, to roll. You have to roll. Uh, burn one willpower to re-roll them both. And I got a Nosferatu face. So that means that is a crit now for the two Nosferatu faces. So how many do you have total? Oh God. Chat. <laughs> a lot. We one, had two. Well, was it? What did you end up with? Eight. Uh, Eli. Yeah, I had eight. Okay. You need at least nine because a tie will go to him. Ties I go to rolled... the active kindred. Okay, I had potence. I rolled five. And you got two black, and then I rolled my potence. Um, and then those were successful. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like it's tie. If it is a tie, it goes to the active kindred. Eli, oh, you no. pounce forward and slam into him. And you feel he like tenses up like he is sort of a brick wall, but you get your arms around him and you hear, hey, hang on. And you feel a knife right here, Eli. Okay. Hands off the cousin. And you all see four people appear right there in the room. They are four terrible looking Nosferatu. I think we're supposed to be getting you out of here, right? Or maybe we're just going to cut off your fucking head. Uh... And that's a good place for us to stop. <laughs> I just want to say, I have rapid reflexes. I'm going I... to... Really <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm spend a whole week considering what I'm going to do. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt you. It just very much I like, still, like, boom, still... and it's like, hey. <laughs> oh, I still hey. lean in to Apple. Protect your sister in the way that I can never can. Forever. We're going to have a conversation next week, Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 Oh, don't cool, worry. Cool. There won't be speaking. You won't hear much of that voice. That's, 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 uh, that's, that's <laughs> not uh, where uh, <laughs> not this was going, but here we are. Um, uh, let me ask you this. I know we announced the sub goal late. Did we, we hit did the sub indeed. goal? We did. Yeah, we did. Hugo we is safe. <laughs> Hugo lives. Hugo but wait till next week lives. because if we don't hit the sub goal next week. No, you stop We're not gonna keep emotionally extorting. So if you if here. you have, I mean, we will just for different. Reasons. I will take Mason with you, me. I mean, his character. If you have not already right, entered, try. go ahead and type exclamation point L U D level up dice over in chat so we can get you entered. I'll close that here in just a minute. Um. But everyone, everyone in this chat, like everyone playing right now, has some really cool projects they going on, and I don't want to forget to mention them this time. So can we? Can we? Uh, believe it or not, I gotta bounce myself because I have to do a Reddit AMA right now, um, which uh, I'm gonna retweet. You can find the link on my Twitter at B Dave Walters right Don't now. If I, oh, hang on, wait, I'll draw. I'll drop it in chat. We can do this. We have the technology. So let me just say, uh, yes, I am uh, B Dave Walters. Thank you to all you beautiful people for being amazing, like delightful train wrecks of human beings Yay. and kindred. Uh, my graphic novel, Electropunk, is going right now on Kickstarter. So if you like dopeness, please come check that out. Uh, and I'm streaming all the time, uh, including with uh, both Melee Damage and uh, the beautiful Todd Kenrick there, where we usually are less terrible. Usually. I'm being um, wonderful, and I'm willing to make it up to Twitch to vote on whether Apple gets turned or not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been on the internet. Boy. I know what those savages will choose. Oh, boy. Um, so, yes, I myself have to uh, bounce here sooner we than later. We have our winners. Uh, but we have our winners, and then we'll, we'll I didn't mean to so that B-Dave can go do his thing. Sit. No, I didn't yeah, mean to soak up everybody else's time. You guys absolutely still do your promo. Uh, May's got Denver by night. You all have things that are happening. Please hype your things. In fact, I can start the AMA without turning off the camera so just that's true I'm yeah, not it's listening there and there's the link it's weird yes. you can type and be on so camera it's insane. It's weird hashtag multitasking yes so come ask me anything you can ask about this you can ask about la by night long beach by night uh, anything you want to do and thank you guys we'll see you Start next week. project so uh our winners for the uh the vampire the masquerade dice are darth and Trey 1313 uh go ahead and shoot me an email sith wizard go ahead and shoot me an email and 
Lex and Kai. I think that's that's how you say that. I think that's how you say that. Guys, go ahead and shoot me an email um, with uh, mm -hmm. whatever clan you'd like for your vampire dice, and I'll go ahead and, and get those sent out. Diana at levelupdice.net. Um, I'm the only one, so that'll be that'll be really easy to uh, to take care of. But I have a, yeah. I have a question. Uh, the purple star. What does that mean in Twitch chat? The purple star is, means they're a subscriber. That is excellent because I see almost all. We got so many subs. stars tonight, you guys. Yay! Yay! So many stars. It's because you guys are stars. Everyone wanted to save Everyone Hugo. Everyone wanted to save Hugo. Very thrilling. Yeah, I want to. I want to retract my subscription to Jenny Hedge. <laughs> wow, Mason. You do to uh, circumstances. Uh, For reasons. That'll be like next week. Every every. Listen, sub your week cowboy magic is... is no match for my Viking. We are the same magic. age. I will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I just appreciate every sub next week is one round out of the chamber of Eli's gun. That's magic. actually how we're gonna just. Dis oh, that's determine okay. How I don't believe in guns. <laughs> it's, I, I love you all, and you're terrible. Yes, no, but please, please give everyone else a chance to. Everyone's doing so many things. May, where can we find you during the week? Uh, on Wednesdays, <clears throat> you can find me on Q Times at uh, 5 to 7. Denver by night will be back this week. Uh, we took a, a break for Jasper's game day uh, and uh, one before, but we are back this week, Wednesday. Um, and let's see, uh, Thursday, are we are we still are we going on break now? Because uh, yesterday was the finale for Dark and Wish. This was the finale of Dungeons and Dragons and Dark and Wish. We are coming back for season two, but we will be dark at least next week. Honestly, we'll probably be dark two wish weeks, pending how uh, you know the crow flies. And by crow, I mean contracts and budgets. Uh, so <laughs> probably two ish weeks, but uh, we definitely will be back. Uh, yes, uh, Friday here. Um, uh, Sunday, uh, we also will come back soon with uh, Long Beach by night. Um, most of the time, though, when I'm not doing all of this, I'm running games on my Patreon. So if you guys ever want a game where I am your storyteller uh, for Vampire, you can hit me up on there and find me on all the socials uh, at whatever the social is, Melee Damage. Uh, and that's me. That's me. Who is an amazing person and my future best friend. <laughs> Todd, what are you doing through the week? You are awesome. Where can people find you? What? Uh, I'm Todd Kenrank. I do, I do stuff. <laughs> I, 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 I just like the record to show, despite that insanity that you just saw, he also made a seven-year-old girl a warlock in our D&D &D game on Tuesday. So it's Oh, just, yeah, it's a it's theme, and I'm not necessarily uh, wholly comfortable with that. But, yeah, no, I, I'm all week. about giving magic away uh, for free because, I don't know, I'm a horrible uh, capitalist. Um, I'm Todd Kenrick. I work at D&D Beyond. I do creative D&D things. Uh, I am married to the wonderful Megan Hi. Kenrick, uh, who is uh, someone who should be employed, but is currently not. But she has a uh, lovely Twitch uh, channel where she kills people on Overwatch and plays D&D as well. So you should check that out. Mason? Yeah, I mean, so I'm on Twitch. It's Wizard X TV. We do D&D yeah. and Call And Fables. his character That's on Vampire is about to die. It, well, we'll see. Be more excited uh, about your D&D no, 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 games. No, 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 Roll no, no, of no. Fate is amazing. <laughs> Call of Cthulhu is awesome. Uh, we, you stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursday we, nights, right? That is true. true. And then, um, yeah, that, that that is true. That, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know, I tried. That is a very effective you know. piping there. Um, and, the, and then his character No, his character is not going to die. We like I'm really excited for next week. B Dave, even though he's doing his AMA, check out the Electropunk Kickstarter because it's really, really super cool. Yeah. Level Up Dice made some some cool things to go along with that just because we love the project so much. Um, and B Dave's put a lot of effort into that, so it's super cool. Uh, he does everything, basically. Like, like I would try and list the things that you do, B Dave, but it's it's everything. Um, I can barely list them. Yeah. No, I, I don't. Every yes, minute yeah. of every day, I mean, like it, my there's dice. something happening. You get all sorts of cool stuff. Oh. You get all sorts of cool stuff for back in the project. I'm just saying. It's amazing. It's a really, oh. like, I, I would have backed it had oh, I not God. even known B. Dave. This, this is my celebrity really cool. my celebrity endorsements. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I appreciate this. You. And, of course, uh, Emily Justice and myself are, are always around with Level Up Dice, uh, you know, rolling dice. That's that's kind of all we do. That's We're, we're low-key like that. We're low-maintenance. But um, thank you guys all so much for, for showing up and for making this a wonderful experience for us. We'll be back for more Vampire the Masquerade next Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 
So enjoy, you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Thank you all.